In this video, I inherited my grandpa's $3 million farm, but I have no farming experience. I now have the challenge of keeping the farm profitable and hopefully not going bankrupt. Will I be able to do it? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and drop it a like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farming. Well, boys, today's a very interesting day because we are headed out to a farm I have recently inherited all the way out here in the countryside. So we're headed out there with my F-350 right now. A moving truck is on the way. Probably gonna show up later in the day, but uh, this is my first time seeing this farm that we inherited here. I don't have a lot of farming experience, but I guess it's my grandpa's old farm. And yeah, this is it. This is my very first time seeing it. Dang, this place is huge. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna park my truck up here and I'll give you guys a bit of context as to what's going on. So this is grandpa's farm. Now, he used to have an older farm i don't know like maybe 10 years ago or so and he used to go out there on the occasional summer and uh, help him out but he recently moved i guess i don't know if you can call 10 years ago recently but he moved farms got this one all established but i have now inherited it so i don't have a whole lot of farming experience but i guess i have some basic knowledge here and pretty much i just inherited a farm that i have no idea how to run so this should be interesting so i inherited literally everything out here the property the machinery i guess there's another house back here a crap load of land to farm uh luckily no debt with the farm which is nice everything's paid off but basically it was left to me and now i gotta run it as well i'm, I'm not just gonna sell it i mean you can't do that uh, you can but it's probably not the right thing to do but before i left to come out here i got some numbers and contact info of some of the neighbors around here that i was told that would be happy to help me with any questions or anything i had about running this place so i guess we're gonna see what happens anyway it is spring at the moment there is plenty of equipment here we got cedars grain carts discs silage chopper semi a bunch of old equipment in the back here sickle blade mower some grain bins looks like a header back there a very old kubota tractor dang it's actually more just a garden tractor okay so an old ford skid steer a very big com actually that's a fairly decent sized combine 9860 sts not bad let's check and see what's in the uh shop here oh dang there's actually a couple things 4040 with a uh, front end loader and a grapple bucket looks like the uh 70 10 that hasn't ran in quite a few years and a john deere 8850 big four-wheel drive tractor a little bit of mix of machinery nothing too crazy so along with this whole home plot here i was told i also own all of this through here i guess my grandpa used to raise a couple horses in here and whatever else not sure what this shed's for i think we own everything up to right here yep it's pretty much where it ends as far as our uh, home property goes but we own quite a few fields in the surrounding area and from what i've been told i had better get to seeding sooner than later now previously to inheriting this i ran a fairly successful construction business but when i learned i inherited all of this i uh dropped all that and i have a little bit of money but nothing too crazy so i can't really afford to run the farm into debt so i guess i better start making sure this farm makes a profit this year but while we're waiting for the moving truck i guess there's no sense in wasting time we'd better get to work all right i guess the most logical thing to do here is uh grab the old 8850 here and grab our planter and last time i drove this thing i think i was 10 a good thing i still remember how to drive it so everything on this farm has been used or ran within the last year or couple months so luckily it hasn't sat forever and needs a bunch of work and all that it's pretty much just make sure it's greased up good to go and it's ready to be out in the field now i guess i got to move a couple things to get to this planter so it's probably wasn't organized the best all right planter secured let's get this the heck out of here and over to the shop now i do have a full map of the property on my phone here so i at least know what places we own and what places we don't and the main chunk of what we own is right here 85 84 83 and 82 which i'm gonna focus on for right now because i think that'll keep us pretty busy all right so i'm gonna give this thing a quick check over to the best of my knowledge but before that i guess i better call the local co-op see if we can get some seed delivered out here because we're gonna need some of that now luckily enough for me i got kind of a list of uh, the crop rotations what's usually planted where and all that so it should make this job a little bit easier well i think the seed is good to go now i checked it all over made sure everything was greased i did also make a call to co-op up there the local one that's not too far away luckily they knew exactly who i was and who my grandpa was so they had no problem bringing out everything we needed they should be here in a little bit i'm just gonna wait for them and then hopefully we can have this thing loaded up and i guess 
calibrated, I gotta remember how to do that or try to figure it out. Then hopefully we can get out in the field eventually. But until then, I kind of want to check out the rest of the property here. So there is this old trailer house back here. I guess this is kind of just like a, a little hired hand house or a guest house or something. I don't even know. I'm gonna go check in there, see if the door's locked. Oh no, it's not. All right, I'm gonna take a quick look. Well, that place is fully furnished. Luckily, there's no mice, no nothing. It's nice in there. So uh, if I ever get a hired hand, you know, that's where they'll be staying. The rest of the property, not too much going on, but I'm sure we'll find more stuff as uh, we stay here longer. The rest of the house is here, just this little one. Kind of the main house. I had to go check that out here real quick. Hopefully my moving truck shows up by the end of the day. That way I can at least get this loaded up with all my furniture. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, the guys from co-op just pulled up here. Uh, they got these seed bags, but they said they brought something for me to uh, use with my wheel loader. Or I guess my tractor to uh, help unload them. And then uh, just a couple of pallets of liquid fertilizer. We'll be unloading those with the skid steer. But I'm going to go get the uh, loader out and try to get these big bags off. Maybe load one or two up in this Kenzie here. Oh, fire's up. Man, everything's starting without an issue out here. I guess Grandpa kept his equipment well maintained i think he also bought the biggest possible bucket you could fit on one of these because this thing is huge it's like a massive snow bucket i'm just gonna stick that right there for now all right well would you look at that fancy i have my door open there's no ac in here i gotta fix that asap all right let's try to do this to the best of our abilities here yeah i think i got it ah look at this fancy well, at least this thing's tall enough to get those big bags up there there we go we got it going man these are some big tanks probably gonna take a few of these i'd say at least well, that took about four big bags there, so we're going to stick the rest of these in storage, get some liquid fertilizer going in there, and then the cedar should be all set to go. This little bag tool is pretty nice. I hope they let me keep it over the rest of the planting season here. I guess we'll see, though. All right. Skid steer fires up. Good stuff. This thing is old. I'm surprised it fired up. But for how old it is, it actually doesn't look very used. Hopefully, it can lift these. I don't know. Well, it can. That's good. Well, about one of these fills it, so we should have enough for one more fill, and I think the co-op guys are going to be bringing more out Monday morning here, so we should be good until then. I just got to sign, I think, a paper or two here real quick, saying that they're all good to go, and then we're going to get out into the field, hopefully. Okay, I may have spoke too soon. I still got to calibrate everything here before we go. I just got to get to a nice spot here where it's real open. This field right next to our yard is unfortunately not ours, though. I do wish it was, because it'd be really nice just to... You know have something right next to our yard but no i don't know maybe i'll be able to own it next year get this sucker unfolded here dang this kenzie's bigger than i thought check make sure everything's good on this side yep i think everything's good to go gotta lift it up check make sure there's seed back there and there is okay tractor and cedar is good to go now uh unfortunately there is no diesel in the diesel tank right now so this thing's about half full of diesel and uh yeah i gotta order diesel before we even go out in the field so as soon as that gets here i think we're pretty much good to go. I did talk to the co-op guys though, and they said they usually did the spraying for my grandpa. So as soon as we're done seeding, they're gonna come out to the field, get the spraying done, and then we're pretty much not doing a whole lot until fall, unless I uh, decide I wanna try my hand at a little bit of hang, which I've got a fairly decent amount of money put aside if I want to, uh, you know, get into getting some hay equipment there. So I guess that's something we'll have to look into. We do have quite a bit of grassland that uh, usually gets rented out as pasture, but the lease is up on that and uh, we have free reign on that. Here's one thing I want to try though first. This little Kubota tractor is pretty cool if I can get it out of here. As I was saying, this little Kubota tractor is pretty cool and there's a sickle blade mower back there and I kind of need to mow the lawn a little bit. There's no normal zero turn or anything like that, so I think this is what my grandpa used to mow the lawn. Pretty traditional if you ask me. Oh, look at that. I'm even wearing a Kubota hoodie. How fitting. Everything still works apparently. Well, it works. So I'll give it that. I don't think this is the best solution, but it's what we'll work with for now. Well, boys, it's another day out on the farm. Today is finally the day that we get to go do some planting. Last video, I got the planter all set up. I'll filled up with seed ready to go here, so we're going to head out there pretty quick. But first, we have to go and uh, pick up something new for the farm. That's right. I'm already buying stuff, but this might be slightly essential. So that's my excuse. All right. New toy. I mean, uh, essential farm vehicle secured. We're going to get this back to the farm, and then I think we're actually going to use it to go check up on the fields. We're going to go plant here later today, and then hopefully we actually get some work done. All right. Back at the farm here, I don't have a loading ramp, so I guess I'm just going to have to use the skid steer. That's probably the best way to get this thing off there. 
So originally the plots of land that I thought we had were kind of out that way. But I guess we have a bunch more than that. So uh, we got a lot of seeding to do. And I guess that means we should probably get to work. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, this farm did not have any kind of a quad. So I figured, hey, probably should pick one up. Maybe I should have got a side by side instead. I guess I still can. Maybe later though. Anyway, the property we're checking out is just this big back piece here i guess we have more out that way so we'll have to go check on that too but everything looks good through here just wanted to make sure there was no down trees i haven't even been over here to check this out yet so i wasn't even sure what it looked like the heck is that a barn i didn't even know grandpa had a barn back here and it's not too far from the house huh i guess this is also where all of our grassland is if we want to uh do a little bit of hang this year but shoot i didn't know grandpa had a barn back here whoa 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 hold up is that what i think it is okay how did i not know this was back here that's a 69 charger sitting on that lift and why is there a lift back here i'm kind of confused why is this all back here this is just like a super old barn couple old cars and then there's just boom a super clean 69 charger sitting here it's orange and everything yeah this thing's pretty mangled i don't even know what this is just a bunch of old stuff back here wait a minute the heck is this i'm kind of confused if it's what i think it is i, I don't i don't want to I don't know we got a cleared out spot here barrels and firewood oh the barrels are empty but if this is what i think it is okay let me just give my uncle a call here and uh ask him what the heck is exactly going on here because i think like i have an idea so i just had an hour-long conversation with my uncle who lives a couple states over and uh he confirmed what i thought this indeed was a spot for a moonshine still that's right grandpa used to make moonshine which i mean makes sense because this is a pretty closed in spot you got barrels you got lots of old firewood like this spot has been covered up for years i don't even think really anybody knew it was back here there's this old barn kind of completely covering it up then there happens to be this super nice charger in here and basically my uncle told me that when times got tough on the farm grandpa used to make moonshine to keep the farm afloat which hey i mean good for him that's pretty dang cool but enough about this we'll deal with that car later because we're, we're kind of supposed to be seeding right now and uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us but shoot i'm gonna have to get that out of the barn and get that back to the farm because that is so cool i gotta get that thing running again yeah grandpa kept that a pretty good secret i guess and i almost got hit by a car huh i didn't even i didn't know that was back there no one told me <laughs> all right well cedar's all good to go here so uh we'll get going but i think tonight i'm gonna try get that car out see if i can get it fired up i mean obviously hasn't ran in a long time so i don't know if we'll be able to get anything working out of that but we'll try our best okay so as far as i'm aware everything's calibrated on the planter here we should be good to go oh yeah this is working great so we're going with soybeans on this field just because they're pretty high they're not crazy high yielding but they're pretty high profit margin which is nice i was originally gonna go corn on this field but unfortunately we uh we can't get any corn headers so unless i can find one we're gonna have to mostly go with soybeans this year Alrighty, first headland done i had to get out and check the uh cedar a couple times just to make sure everything's running good but uh, i think we're okay so i'm gonna carry on here also keep in mind that grandpa only moved to this farm roughly 10 years ago before before he passed away so that means in the last 10 years that man has made some moonshine which is kind of funny but obviously i don't think he's really touched it in the last however long but still kind of cool and there we go that is the last of it field actually took a little longer than i thought it would but i guess i'm still getting used to uh the whole planter so that'll take a bit of time i just want to get out and check the levels before we head over to the next field here just to make sure we're good that or i might need to fill up a little bit here but we'll check okay still got some seed left we're looking a little low on uh liquid fertilizer there so i might go fill up actually yeah we're gonna go fill up here before we head out may as well that way we don't have to head back like midfield or something just grab some liquid fertilizer here real quick get that all filled up over here perfect that should do it for that got to use the tractor to get the big seed bags here i still gotta get the dang ac fixed in this tractor it is hot in here and is not very fun to work with i did try fixing it myself but uh unfortunately i couldn't figure it out so i may just have to take it into john deere all right so this one i guess we own as well but the field next to it we don't apparently so i don't know what's up with that i need to pick some rocks in this field oh actually i might just go see if i can rent a roller or borrow one i think my neighbor down the road would be uh gracious enough to let me have his for maybe an hour or so actually it's a roller so we'll probably be done this field in like 20 minutes if that you know what if we're rolling this field may as well do the others because i don't want to have to be dealing with all those rocks and the combine all that so may as well just get everything rolled i'll talk to the guy down the road that has one and 
See if you'll let me rent it or borrow it. We'll see. Better I just need to buy one, but maybe next year. Kind of hard to get at the moment. All right, just finishing up this field here. I did call my neighbor with the land roller. He said he'd be more than happy to lend it to me as long as he could uh, grab my skid steer for a couple hours for a landscaping project he's got going on this summer. So I was like, yeah, sure, that works. So he said I can come pick it up whenever I need. So as soon as we're done seeding here, I think we'll... Uh, go grab it all right so this is our last field here and our biggest one it's right next to a highway but it's nice all our land is fairly close to the farm so shouldn't have to be trucking the grain too far actually you know what just looking at my phone here there may be one or two smaller fields but we'll worry about those later back in the day i guess my grandpa had a lot bigger of an operation but uh he downsized a lot as he was getting closer to retirement that's why he's kind of got all this bigger equipment with such little land but i'm thinking next year if we can lease a bunch out that would be awesome so according to my calculations we should be just about out of seed and liquid fertilizer by the time we get this field just about done as soon as we do this last little chunk i'll get out check the tanks and see if i was right yep i was right perfect i think there might have been a little too much extra in there but it won't be a big deal we still got a couple little small fields left but we'll leave those till a later date for now i just want to go grab the roller before the day ends here and get the fields done quick so um this land roller is a bit bigger than i thought it was um yeah we should get the fields done in no time i gotta stick to the side of the road with this thing or else we'll be cutting into the other lane all right back again okay so i'm thinking since we already got the 8850 hooked up to the planter and i don't really want to unhook it we'll just use the 4040 and it's already got the bucket on it so uh we need to toss some rocks in there we can do so this tractor should be plenty big enough to pull that uh roller all right let's see if i still got the skill to unfold one of these so we got it straight now if i just go back like this just about lock it into place perfect look at that so luckily with these things you can cruise pretty quick so doesn't take long why'd i have to pick the tractor with no air conditioning yeah this thing's taking quite a bit of pulling power to uh get this around here maybe i should have hooked up the bigger tractor but i think we got it we don't got too many hills here so not much to worry about slight inclines but that's about it no gps on this one so i'm kind of doing this by eye at the moment all right so we finished up here on to the next one this one is the rockier field so gotta make sure this one's extra good hey you can already see it's doing wonders getting rid of those rocks i mean it's kind of just pushing them into the ground not really getting rid of them but whatever works we'll come through here with a rock picker in the spring and last field once we get all finished up here i think we'll uh, get back home and we'll just take my neighbor's land roller back tomorrow morning still want to try get that car out of that barn tonight gotta get out of this dang tractor it's too hot in here perfect that'll do it all right so in order to get this car back to the farm here i have to go grab a uh tilt deck trailer i'm gonna say that's probably what i'm gonna have to grab there's a rental place just down the road and i hope it's not closed yet so we're gonna try go grab a trailer and see if we can get this car out i managed to get there just in time time and i got my trailer i should really have one of these tilt decks anyway but oh well okay back at the barn again let's see if we can make something happen okay so since this is an electric hydraulic lift and we got absolutely no power going to it i'm gonna have to try lift up the front of the car tip it backwards without wrecking it and then hopefully i can get those lift posts put sideways and then we can lower this down and then roll it from there okay slowly but surely working here or we could just set it on there like that that works too okay so after about an hour of moving crap around and uh trying to lift it with this skid steer we got the car pretty much on the trailer this car is like crazy heavy and uh the skid steer is not really uh big enough for it but i think i'll just try to get it pulled on from here then we should be good would you look at that i wonder when the last time this thing's seen sunlight probably not for a long time and according to my uncle this was my grandpa's project car before he passed and it's pretty much finished like very dang close so we're gonna take it back to the shop and uh, i'm gonna have my buddy look at it who uh, knows a bit more about cars than i do and hopefully he can get it going again okay well that should be good right there anyways we still got some sunlight left here so i might try empty out the cedar tonight so we can get some new seed in it maybe wash it off Well, boys, it's another early morning out on Grandpa's farm, and today is a very exciting day because we finally get to pick up our brand new hang equipment. Now, in the last episode, we got most of the seating done. We still have a little bit left to do, and the hay is just about ready to go, so we're gonna go check out some of the hang equipment we bought, and hopefully it gets delivered at some point today. And it looks like the field is also doing pretty dang good already. We got rain right after we planted, so that went up very fast. Well, 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 here it is. 
is. So as of late, we got a Vermeer dealer in town here, and uh, it looks like they decided they were going to hook us up with a lot of equipment. First off being their rake, the R2800, their mower, the TM1410, and one of the coolest machines Vermeer probably makes, the ZR5. 1200. Their self-propelled baler that uh, is kind of like a zero turn. But that's all going to get delivered later today, so we're going to hop back in the truck, head back to the farm, and get some more work done. And uh, that right there, yeah, it's roughly about half a mil worth of equipment. All right, back at the farm here. So last episode, I did borrow a neighbor's land roller here, and uh, we finished with it, so we're going to take it back. That way it's just not sitting here cluttering up room on the farm. All right, land roller was returned here, and since we got a little bit of time on our hands and we're, well technically running out of time to get everything planted we should probably get that done anyways the cedar's already filled up here so we can get right to work all right so we have quite a few just super small fields that are like a pass or two wide and the seed is pretty big for these but we'll make it work so instead of planting soybeans in these like i normally would we're actually going to be planting corn now the reason for that is because the combine is literally too big to get back here and actually properly harvest however we do have a forge harvester that is about the right size and we're going to be doing a little bit of silage with this corn. Now, I know what you're going to say, Austin. You, you don't even have cows. And you'd be right. I don't. But my neighbor does, and uh, he is looking to get some extra silage done. And this is kind of the perfect place for it. So I was happy to work out something with him. These fields back here, they're a little bit bigger. And we might be able to get a combine back here, but I think we're still going to keep them corn. I might eventually plant these to grass or alfalfa. That way we have a little more hayland. But for now, this will work. And with this last little bit, planting is a wrap. We'll get this thing back to the shop, get it all cleaned off, and uh, get her put away. Oh, I think I just heard someone pull up here. Oh, yeah, it's our equipment delivery. Okay, we'll get this uh, washed off later. Yes, sir, look at this. Fancy new equipment on the farm. Nothing better than that. Okay, this is my first time driving this. This is gonna be weird. It's just like driving a zero turn, right? Can't be that bad. Oh yeah, this thing is cool. Oh, it even turns on a dime too. That is awesome. So yeah, this thing's basically a baler that self-propelled. It has a cab. It has a motor on it. It's pretty dang cool. Now the question is, where am I going to park all this stuff? I don't really have a whole lot of room for it over here at least i'll just park it over here for now we'll deal with it later but dang i think this is gonna work good this is perfect oh now the rake okay i think i got the perfect tractor for this this is uh grandpa's old 710 john deere i did get it running the other day so uh at least we can get around with it now i don't know if it's gonna run the rake but i guess we'll find out it may not be big enough i was however hoping it would be but we'll see oh you know what there's a hitch on the front okay this might be better Never mind. Wrong hitch. It won't work with the rake. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this might not work. Well, it might. All right, so we still have to get our mower delivered. So in the meantime, I think I got to try this out. It has enough horsepower. So in theory, it can run it. I mean, I guess we're just going to have to try it out. Should work though. But while we're waiting for our mower, I suppose I'll get uh, this washed off. Well, I got the plants are all greased up and cleaned out, so it's good to go. We'll just get her back under cover, and it'll sit here for the rest of the year. If I don't hit a pole first. Well, that should do it. All right, last piece of equipment is here. Perfect. I think the mower is something that uh, the 710 definitely cannot pull. But this one should be able to run it just fine. Although, depending on how it does run it, I might toss it on the uh, four-wheel drive back there. It might be fun to try out. Okay, I want to do a little test mill with this here real quick. We were going to cut this anyway, so may as well cut it for hay. Drop that bad boy down, fire it up, and off we go. Yeah, I mean, we can cruise with this pretty good, so should be nice. I think the one grass field there, I want to let it grow just a little bit more, so we're not going to get to that today. But since we got a little bit of uh, hay cut now, I want to try out a rake. Let's see if the old 710 can manage this. All right, drop that bad boy down, and off we go. Yeah, I don't know, not the greatest. We should be able to cruise a little bit faster than what we're doing right now. Now, so now we're we're slowly getting up to speed it might work it might i may just toss it on the 4040 instead all right yeah this is gonna have to go on the 4040 as much as i'd love to use the old 710 for this i think it's gonna be sticking to uh auger tractor duties okay time to try this fun toy out this thing's cool i can't wait to use it i should have probably read the owner's manual but yeah we'll be all right so i dropped that down fire that up okay i think we're going here we're gonna have enough for one bale oh apparently we did okay not sure what happened there I don't think I know how to use this yet. We can use this to scoot it out of the way. Yeah, we can. Perfect. Already just moving around bales with $270,000 piece of equipment like it's nothing. So I'm pretty sure this thing unloads on the go. I'm still trying to figure that all out. Okay, I had to mow a little extra. We're at like 97% and I want to see how this thing unloads. Oh, so just it does it automatically. Isn't that fancy? Okay, well, that's kind of 
cool. I'm sure once I get out in the field, I'll actually know how to use this a little bit better. Right now, I'm still just trying to learn the basics, but oh well, we'll make it work. I kind of want to try this mower out on the 8850 just to see how it does, and then I can toss the 4040 on the rake, but I don't know. We'll probably give each of them a try. So is all that equipment worth half a million dollars? I don't know. We're going to have to see if we can make some money back in hay this year. We've got quite a bit of grassland, so I'm going to say we'll be able to make quite a bit of hay, but uh, we'll just have to wait and find out. I just want to get these bales out of the way. Don't want them in the middle of the yard. But the hay market is really, really good this year, so I'm going to say we'll make a bit of profit. I don't know uh, how many years it's going to take to pay off those machines by making hay, but we'll see. It's an investment. Plus, all that stuff should hold its value pretty good. Man, Grandpa would have loved to see something like that self-propelled baler. Can this pick two bales up? Kind of. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we'll just leave him there. Okay, now I just got myself in a sticky situation here. There we go. I'm still working on Grandpa's Challenger that we dug out of his uh, moonshine barn there. It's going good. I think we almost got it running, so hopefully by the end of harvest, we'll be out cruising with this thing. Or maybe before it. Who knows? Now, a couple things I'm going to try get ready before harvest hits because it's going to come sooner than we think, and then we're going to have no time. Then we're going to be rushing and all that, so may as well get it done sooner than later. Got to pull the combine out, grab the header, get that all serviced up. It should have been put away serviced, but who knows? Got to set up our auger there. We got a grain cart back here. That's going to go on the 8850. Got our super hopper grain trailer. We got to get that hooked up. So I'm sure there's enough here that'll keep us busy even after haying, so... There won't be a dull moment on the farm. Oh boy, the old Ford's looking dirty. We can't be having that. There we go, that's already looking better. Perfect. One thing I've been meaning to upgrade for like the longest time ever since I got here is uh, our diesel tank. It's, it's not the greatest. I was looking at this Meridian diesel tank online and I think it'll probably work. We put it somewhere around here. So I might order that and hopefully we get it delivered out into the farm before harvest because... We're going to need a lot of diesel for that. Now, there was one quick project that I wanted to do while I had the time, and that was plant a garden. And as far as I'm aware, there's like this old cultivator back here. I just got to find it. There it is. Man, I bet this hasn't moved in a hot minute. <laughs> It's, uh, it's pretty old. I think we got a little space by the house to make a garden, so may as well. Get some fresh corn for a barbecue, maybe a couple other things. It'll be great. Yeah, right here. The old Kubota should be able to pull this, no problem. Oh, yeah, look at that. Didn't even hesitate. I think we'll just make it one pass bigger. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, just got to get that planted up, and we'll be good to go. Well, boys, we're back out here on Grandpa's farm, and today we're going to try to finish up haying here. So last video, we mowed the field across the road, mowed all of the farmyard and the surrounding area there, bailed that all up, but we still have all the stuff left across the road here. So we're going to try to get that all bailed up. And then later today, we actually have a new bale trailer that we got to go pick up. So we'll be using that to move all the bales to the buyer's farm. Because last episode, we had a guy offer to buy all our bales here. So uh, yeah, should be a busy day. First things first, we're going to use the old 4040 here to hook up to the rake and get the rest of the hay raked up here. I am going to detach the loader though because we don't really need that on here there we go it's looking like our soybeans over here are doing crazy well we've been getting lots of rain lots of sunshine here so it should be a good harvest this year at least that's what i hope we managed to actually get a really decent cut off this first piece of property here it's the biggest kind of hay field we got and uh it was super thick and it hadn't been cut in probably two years or so and it kind of worked out perfectly for us all right that's about half of it finished up here you can just fly with this rake so it does not take long at all and we are done this field is looking real good. I think we're going to get a lot of bales off this. Probably too many. I guess there's no such thing as too many bales, but we're going to have a lot at any rate. And I kind of had to cut through the field a little bit. So yeah, I damaged a little bit of the crop, but uh, oh well. Oh, you know what? There's still a little bit more here. Got to grab that too. There. Now we're finished. And I think we're just going to park this right here for now until we need the 4040, which I guess we probably will soon. Oh, got to shut it off. There we go. Yeah, we'll probably need the 4040 sooner than later, but for now, I'm sure it'll be fine where it's at. Now, I do have to pull the combine out later today if I get a chance. I want to get that serviced and get the header hooked up there for when we have to start harvest because that's not going to be very far away. And the sooner we get it done, the better. And there's probably a couple other little things I'll have to get done. I still haven't even started up my semi that's back there. We're going to need that to haul grain with. But we'll We'll worry about that after we get this all bailed up and get the bales hauled away out of the way people i'm trying to get over to the other side oh don't you dare smack me all right we're still cruising along here it's looking like we got a good chunk done also a pretty decent amount of bales nothing too crazy i guess but still very worth bailing back here then we got to come back here and pick all these up so that's gonna take a while all right last pass and that's her for bailing on the farm actually you know what we're pretty close to having a full baler here so i might just try to go pick up some of the scraps on the side and there we go that'll do it 
finally finished that bale off. All right, so we're gonna have to get this thing washed off here. I'm just gonna park it up front of the shop. But before we get all the hang equipment all uh, cleaned up and put away, we gotta go haul those bales. So I'm actually gonna grab the 4040 here and we'll hook it back up to the loader because we're gonna need that. Unfortunately, my skid steer is not quite strong enough to pick up those big bales. So I'll have to use this instead. I was looking into getting a wheel loader, but unfortunately those are kind of hard to come by around here, at least for used and decently priced. And everything that is used around here is stupid expensive. So. So we got to wait for the right deal. But for now, we can just use this. Okay, with that thing ready to go, we're going to hop in the truck here if I don't smack into my shop first. And uh, we're going to go pick up a new bale trailer. I hope it's braided for the uh, for the bigger bales. I think there's a chance we might actually be hauling overweight. So hopefully the DOT is not around. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, would you look at this? My fancy new bale trailer is now on the farm. This thing is here huge like it's ridiculously big and uh i don't know if the old f-350 is gonna be able to handle it but we'll give it our best i don't have airbags in the back of this truck so uh yeah it's gonna be a little heavy but oh well we'll make it work so we got all these bales out front here but we did end up bailing a good amount back of the property there so we're gonna have to go grab all those bales first i guess now one thing i did find laying in the bushes the other day was this bale spear it's for a three-point hitch and uh you can pretty much hook it up to any tractor well with a three-point hitch so i was thinking to get the bales out of the back part of the farm there we just hook that up to the 4040 here it'd make our job a little easier because it's kind of hard to get a trailer back there and all that so yeah i don't really want to mess with that it'd be easier if there wasn't any fields in there but there is so i don't want to run over those okay that should do the trick Hopefully there's enough weight on this front end here to keep that up or keep it down, I guess. Looks like the corn is coming along nicely back here. That's good. We'll be chopping that late fall, that's for sure. Okay, I think maybe it was just the two right back here. Yeah, we'll just straighten out. Back on up to that. There we go. Lift that sucker up. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. Both bales secured. I guess we could have probably picked up two with the just the grapple, I guess, but that gets pretty heavy, so better to balance out the weight, I guess. We'll just bring all the bales back here to the front of the property. That way, they're easier to load. Drop that one there. You know, I could have just put them on the trailer, but I guess I got to do everything the hard way. I guess I'm going to have to get the forge harvester ready, too. We're going to need to use that eventually. It'll be good, though. I don't know when's the last time that thing was used, so uh, yeah, maybe get something out of it. Any other bales back here? I think that's about it. It could be some more up here. Nope, just the two. Oh, I guess there's two in the shed as well. Okay, now we're really just tempting fate here. We got two bales on the front, one on the back. I don't think the loader on the front of this tractor likes that very much, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. wonder if we can lift them all the way up onto the bale trailer here. We'll try our best. Oh boy, that's tippy. That is very tippy. Well, there we go. There's two. I don't think the bale trailer's liking that because it is very tipped over at the moment. These are some heavy bales. I'm actually just going to keep one of these bales on the back here just for balance. That way we don't flip when I try to pick up two. You know, this bucket is big enough to try for three. Yeah, this ain't a good idea. <laughs> okay. We're gonna stick to two. It's probably better this way. And now we can try even out the trailer a little more. There we go. Look at that. Nice and evened out now. Yeah, with how heavy these bales are, we're definitely gonna be overloaded. So most of the bales we have here are big bales. Now there's a couple small bales and I think we're gonna have to wait for another load for those. Just cause I think we're pretty much gonna fill this trailer right up with the big bales. Okay, so that's eight so far. That's most of this side minus the uh, small bales cleaned up here. Okay, so I'm just moving the truck to the other side of the highway here. I already have the tractor over there. We got some of the bales actually pretty much all of them stacked up into twos there that way they're easier to load up i think i can maybe fit uh 10 more on here yeah probably 10 more but we'll see all right got uh, most of them done over here i think we loaded up six more so yeah we should get most of these on okay so i got on a hill here and uh i tipped let's see if i can get back over there we go note to self do not load trailers on uh slightly steep hills does not work out great or maybe i should just take these one at a time but yeah that's that's too slow okay maybe two more i guess we'll see well two more on each side so that's four more now in theory you could put another row on top but uh since this is like a side load trailer or side unload trailer you probably don't want to do that uh oh back on the same hill let's try not to tip okay yeah Two more and we should be good to go. I'll just push them all up afterwards. Okay, so the trailer's loaded now. I'm going to probably push all these up. We'll see if that helps a little bit. Because right now they're a little uneven. Not too bad though. Okay, there we go. Straighten them out a little bit. 
And it looks like everything's sitting good now. The truck is looking a tad bit squatted. I mean, look how much weight's on here. These are the biggest bales the Vermeer makes, and they are huge. We got uh, the bale on the back here, and then one more bale out in the field, and then it's just the small ones left, which uh, there's not too many of those, so shouldn't take too long. How many did we fit on this trailer anyway? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yep. 20 bales. That's, uh, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Ford doesn't like this. <laughs> it's, it's having a hard time. Maybe I should have just hooked the semi up to this, but that hasn't moved in about a year, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone until harvest comes around, but, uh, the Ford's kind of doing it. Not the greatest, but it's pulling it. Okay, so this is a side highway here, so hopefully we'll be okay towing this down here. Although everybody's kind of hauling hay right now, so there's a lot of officers out, but we'll try our best to avoid all that. Really, I should be hauling my hay at night like a lot of people, but oh well, we're just gonna send it. Okay, so as far as I'm aware, there's a little area over there where he wants it dropped off, so uh, yeah, not too much further. Man, that guy's field is doing good. Okay, this is our turn, and there's a state trooper right here. Okay, so he just reversed and then turned on his lights. Uh, I'm just gonna pull into the yard here because this is the yard I'm supposed to go to. Is he, Is it even legal for him to park like that and pull people over? I, I guess so. I, I don't know. This is my buddy's yard, and this the place that we're supposed to drop it off is right over there. I guess I just gotta wait here now. Yeah, there he is, chilling back there. Not too sure what he's doing. Okay, so he just came up and talked to me. Told me I am most definitely overloaded, which uh, I I suppose I'm, I might be. I don't know. Told me I didn't have my four ways on like I should have, which I, I guess I might have not turned them on. I'm fairly certain I did. And that I was somehow going over the speed limit, which there there's no way in heck. I mean, this thing was pulling way under the speed limit. There's no way this thing could even speed with this much weight on it. At any rate, oh, he's coming back up. Okay. Well, there he is parked back there again. Um... We got uh, warnings, which is nice, I guess. But really, speeding? I don't, I don't think so. I really don't think so. He said by the shed and the old abandoned car, which is right here. This should work right here. We'll just get all these unstrapped, and then uh, we get to use the fancy unloading function. Okay, everything's unstrapped here. Now let's just go like that. Off it rolls. Okay. There's the other side. Perfect. Well, there we go. We just got a couple more bales left to haul here, and then that is it for our hay, other than our neighbor there who uh, wants to do a little bit of hay. But he keeps putting it off, and I don't know why, so maybe we'll do it this year. Maybe we won't. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the farm there, get some equipment cleaned up and all that. He's just sitting there. Huh. Well, boys, it's another day out here at Grandpa's farm, and uh, today's a pretty exciting day. So a while back, we found a barn on a piece of property my grandpa owned, and we found his old car. Now, while the car wasn't in really rough shape, per se, it uh, it didn't run, and it really needed some TLC. So I took it to a buddy of mine who knows a lot more about cars than I do, and we got it kind of fixed up. There's a little more tuning left to do, and he's coming out today to finish that. So hopefully, today's the day where it gets back on the road. But we'll see. At any rate, all of our soybeans are just about ready to go here. So I think today we're going to try get all the harvesting equipment ready to go. So it's not a last minute thing. Now, in order to do that, we have to get the old uh, diamond semi out from the shed here. I don't know when the last time this thing ran was, but I'm assuming it's been in quite a while. I'll check and see if it has any battery juice left in it. But uh, I'm guessing we're going to have to boost it up. Yeah nada okay we gotta boost it luckily i have a set of booster cables right in my truck here okay everything should be good to go here we'll fired right up oh would you look at that okay we'll get this sucker pulled out of here in a minute as soon as i move this truck and we'll grab our uh, super bees there are they do we have super bees i don't know maybe it's just a single grain trailer oh man it has been a while since i've driven a standard truck Oh, I'm a little rusty here. But even for this thing sitting for so long, it still looks like the day it came off the showroom floor. Nah, we just got a single trailer here. All right. Well, that'll work. Hopefully all the airlines are still good on it. Well, there you go. Would you look at that? Back in action. Okay, so with that good to go, what's next here? I think we're gonna hook up the 8860 up to the grain cart there because we're gonna need that too. Well, at least Grandpa remembered to put the cover back on or else uh, might have got a, quite a bit of rain inside of it. But I think we're all right. Yeah, Grandpa actually bought this cart right before he passed away, so uh, it is basically brand spanking new. I think it maybe got used for half a year. That's it, so uh, it's just been sitting ever since. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be dumping into this bin here first. So I'm going to get this Westfield auger hooked up to a tractor. Which one is the question? I think the old 710 ought to do her. This thing hasn't had much use since we've been on the farm, but it worked good for that. I hope at least. Oh, good thing the hydraulics still work. Okay, I may have went a little high there. Just a tad. See, 
here's the thing with uh, this auger. I don't know how Grandpa rigged this thing up to work with the trailer we got right now. Um, because it ain't gonna work. The only thing this is good for is loading up trucks. I guess I didn't really think that through. Maybe if we had like a, a truck like this with a grain bed, but we don't. Okay, so we can't even use this. Now that is a problem. Well, I guess this is just gonna have to sit here for now until we figure out another option. Now, I guess in theory this could work, but with how we're set up here, it's not really gonna work at all. Dang, this is, this is actually gonna be an issue here. All right, boys, problem has been solved here. So we're actually taking the west field to a neighbor of mine. Oh boy. I am smashing up the garage at the moment. Okay, I, th I think the auger is still fine. I think we're good. At any rate, we're taking the Westfield auger to a neighbor of mine who actually has an auger that will work for our setup. He was actually just fixing to go buy an auger like this because he needs it in his bin yard, at least his new one, because his bigger augers won't fit. So we're doing a little bit of a trade for the season, which hopefully works out good. Now, the auger we're actually going to go pick up is uh, one that doesn't require a tractor. It's, it has a motor on itself. So we won't even have to use the 710. All right, so we secured the auger, but uh, more... More problems arose when I didn't have the right hitch for the truck. So my buddy let me borrow his tractor to bring this thing back. And that makes my life a heck of a lot easier. Even though I'm stopping traffic here, y'all can pass, you know. Anyway, I'll just have to go pick up my truck later. So this will work for now. I really like this tractor though. I want it. Although this auger is absolutely sweet and it should work good. I hope at least. We'll find out. It might be a tad bit too big. We're gonna clear the power line? Oh yeah. By a long shot. All right, time to see if we can fit this sucker in here. Okay, so after careful calculation here, what we're actually gonna have to do is bring it to this side, because this is the only side we're gonna be able to fit the semi on. Hold up, it's tree trimming time. There's one. Oh yeah, because this is definitely OSHA approved. Down you go. This tree's looking pretty bleak after this. I don't know, we may just have to cut it down completely as much as I'd hate to cut down any of the trees on the farm. This is really just blocking this. I think we'll leave that till this winter if we have to cut it down. We will, but for now, it will be all right. Well, that'll do it. Okay, so we got the auger about good here. Now, the best part about this is we can swing this sucker all the way around to have it exactly where we want it. Well, pretty dang close, that is. I think we'll have it so we bring the truck around in here, swing this under, and then we can just head out this way. Even though there's not a road here, this is kind of the only option we have at the moment. For this bin right here, we'll kind of just do the same idea, except just the opposite. It'll come in this way and go out that way. Okay, looking good. Maybe I'll just keep this tractor and my buddy will never ever notice. Maybe I'll just bring back the 710 in its place. Yeah, he wouldn't know the difference, would he? Nah. Well, time has come. Gotta get this big beast out of here. Whew, big boy. Barely fits in this shed. I really should have moved some stuff in preparation for this. Ah, crap. We got trees in the way. This will fix it. Okay, so in reality here, there's not many ways to get this header out of here. And of course, my one and only way to get this out of here is blocked. Man, I never catch a break here. Okay, next time I park this thing back away after harvest, it is going in a much better spot. That is too dang complicated to get out of there. So while this thing is getting serviced, uh, it's it was put away serviced, but I'm pretty sure since it's been sitting for a while, it needs some work done to it. We're just going to work on it here because we already got enough stuff over here. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to wash this thing. I think my buddy should be here any minute now to work on that uh, car, so should get to drive it by the end of the day here. I'm super excited for that. That thing is not driven in a long time. So this thing is just going away in the shed because really, we have the space and uh, it does not need to be outside. So I was thinking while I have the time here, I should probably get some of the stuff that's been sitting in the yard for a while just put away in some places just so it's not sitting around. I was thinking I could fit most of the hang equipment in the shop there, but we pretty much just have a crap ton of open space in this coverall building, so we'll probably just put most of it in here. Well, that should about do it. The farm's pretty well cleaned up here, but my buddy came by while I was getting all that done. He says the car is good to go, so I'm ready to take this thing out for a spin. All right, first fire up here. Well, for myself at least. Oh, she's running. All righty, here we go. Oh, shoot, this thing's fast. Dad gum. All right, let's hope there's no cops up on the road today. Pedal to the metal. Here we go. Slow starting off, but then it starts to pick up. There it goes. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing's pretty dang fast, but it is like surprisingly quiet. I guess Gramps put mufflers on it. The old beast runs again. I just got to put a couple of certain decals on it. Then it'll be looking a little more uh, stylish. I got a few in mind. Check on my bean fields while I'm down here. Oh yeah, they're looking good. All right. Well, harvest is just around the corner here, so we should be getting busy with that pretty soon. We still got lots of projects on the farm 
to do like it is nuts how much stuff we got to left before winter but hopefully we can get most of it done if not all i still got a couple bales to go and deliver so we'll get that done i still got to go over the combine actually this is gonna go right in the shop again and i'm thinking maybe this fall after harvest we'll get all of the old equipment cleaned out of here because really what good is it doing just sitting in here and we can't really use any of it so maybe we'll see if an equipment museum wants something like this this i don't think it's really old enough but something like this i feel like an equipment museum might want but if they don't we'll just scrap it anyways i still need my truck here so we're just gonna grab the tractor here and uh take it on back to my buddy's place as much as i would love to keep it though i don't know maybe i'll just buy it off of him actually i am looking for a new tractor something in between the two bigger ones that we have i almost hit that car but yeah we'll see what we can find man i gotta wash this dang thing off it's starting to get dirty you know what i was wondering where my other tractor was it's actually out in the field i completely forgot about it i think we still got like two more bales left out there i'll go run and grab that there now we got our other tractor back i think we'll just drop the bales kind of where these other ones are i still got to deliver the rest of them this bale spear for the uh three point hitch actually worked great this year i have to use it again next year but yeah i really need something in between the 4040 and the 8850 because we have the 710 but that's just too small to really do anything and it doesn't have to be john deere so i don't know a grandpa's car is running again so hopefully we'll get a chance to drive that after harvest Well, boys, it's another early morning out on the farm, and it is fall. And that means one thing and one thing only. The soybeans are good to go, and it's time to harvest. So, yeah, the next couple weeks here are going to be packed with uh, harvest. We've got silage coming up, which I think the corn is just about good to go as well. Probably sooner than later. But we already have everything good to go, so uh, we're going to get out in the field here and get to work. So, I'm thinking first things first is we got to get the 8850 fired up here with the grain cart. We'll get that out to the field. We'll get the semi out to the field. Field, and then we should be good to start with the combine so we're going to be starting with the field closest to the farm we have a bunch of fields down that way that we got planted in the spring now i guess we're going to try get most of this in the bin or both bins i guess we already got the auger set up so that should be good i don't know how much we're going to fit in there but whatever we don't fit we'll take over to the elevator now since grandpa moved off the farm a couple years ago none of these fields have been harvested or even planted nothing was ever really done to him so this is the first time in a couple years we're actually going to be able to get some crop off these all right so i have not ran a combine in a lot of years and my experience with this is well nothing to say the least with this particular combine at least so i'm gonna try my best here i don't know how it's gonna go but I think we're going to find out here in a minute. You can see that little part over there. That's where I went through with the tractor. So I got the header lowered here. I think I've got everything set right. Fire this bad boy up. I think we're going. Oh, never mind. Oh, I put it up by accident. There we go. Are we doing it? Am I doing the thing? I think so. Okay, I'm trying to look at all these monitors here, make sure nothing's going wrong, but I think we're okay. So I think we're going to try to get two headlands done see how that goes even though this is our kind of biggest field it's it's really not that big compared to the combine we have when grandpa was farming he had a lot more land leased and uh yeah harvest would have took a couple of weeks but for us it's gonna still take a while but not as long now next year i'm hoping to have a lot more land leased, so uh it'll take a lot longer so much so that i think i'm gonna bring in help but for now I'm just going to try to uh, do this myself. Now, this is the only field I for sure know is ready to go. I'm not 100% on the other fields there. I'll have to go check them out. So we might not get to those today, but we're for sure going to get this one done if nothing goes wrong. But I think that's wishful thinking. So far, so good, though. Now, there is some low spots in this field, so I may have to be a little bit careful just because we have gotten a decent amount of rain this year. So I do not want to get this thing stuck if I can help it. Looks like we're at... 38 percent so far so i think we're getting good yields i honestly couldn't be too sure might have to call up one of my other neighbors here and get him to come out and just see if i'm doing everything right because i am not entirely sure we're giving it our best though looks like we're getting to the part where i uh ran this all over with the tractor gotta be more careful next time i was hoping it'd spring back up but nope okay that's headland number one done we're gonna go for number two here should give us enough room to turn around i hope well we're cruising along here pretty good maybe i'll turn on the radio see what's on Hey guys, Radiohead Ray here on 7.9 FM with your breakfast brief. Farmers across the county are out in the fields getting ready to harvest. And if you want to win lunch for your crew and yourself delivered out to the field from Jenny's Diner, that's of course if you happen to be calling number three. And in news, a local farming YouTuber is making headlines for his new farming game, American Farming, coming out late 2022. And you can catch his interview just after four. And now for your local weather update. Hey guys, Rockin' Roddy here back with your local weather update. 
day. It's looking like we got a 65% chance of rain moving in at about 12 o'clock. Moving into tomorrow, oh, dang, it's nothing we got but rain clear coming. skies and a high of 64. That's, and now that's a not brand good. new hit from breakout TikTok artist Bailey Zimmerman called Where Oh, we'll try to knock this out this then. This has been Rockin' Ronnie with your morning weather update. All right, I'd say that's the headlands about done here. I think we're looking... 90 some percent here so i'm gonna pull this semi into the field after we get this little patch done and then uh we'll get unloading yeah i was thinking the grain cart might be necessary but yeah i really don't think so now unless it's too wet to get the semi into the uh other fields there i think we're just gonna do it this way it's a lot easier all right looking good maybe i'll move a little forward here oh okay we're already out well back at it all right that is kind of the front part here done got a little bit left in the back so we'll get that cleaned up here and then uh get the rest of that dumped then i think we'll call this field good and we are done look at that first field harvested on grandpa's farm and well a lot of years the combine is looking dirty i'm not seeing any rain clouds in the sky just yet but who knows Good old Rock and Ronnie is usually uh, pretty good with his predictions. Okay, so I think we're going to leave the combine out in the field for now. I'm going to take the diamond semi there and head over to the bin. Even though we don't got too much in the trailer, I just want to try out that whole bin setup, make sure everything works good. I'm going to say, judging from the yields we got on this field, we're probably going to fit everything into the bins we got here at home. Oh, looks like we're spinning a little bit. We got it, though. But yeah, it's looking like the yields aren't crazy, but they're not too bad okay pull this up here i think we'll dump the uh front part first uh, we only got a little bit in the back half of the trailer here so shouldn't be too bad move that under there perfect all righty belts running let's uh get this hopper open and look at that going into the bin all right sweet this auger is actually working really dang good glad we made that trade with our neighbor okay that's the front hopper good just move this forward here and we'll get the back hopper okay trucks unloaded we'll just fold this conveyor back over here and we'll be good yeah that setup worked real dang good definitely the way to go i don't know what we would have done if we had to stick with that other auger there uh yeah that would have been quite the ordeal all right so i just hopped in the truck here we're gonna go check on one of our other soybean fields here to see if it's good to go if it is we'll take everything over there but if it's not we'll have to wait a little while longer but i'm gonna say it's not gonna be ready to go just because this field right here doesn't have as good of drainage as that field and even though that field has more low spots it just has really good drainage and crop is like it's pretty much good to go like you could go on it but it's just still a little too wet even though this looks pretty flat it has some uh really bad low spots on it so we're gonna wait just a little bit longer on this one just a little bit like maybe a day or two i just want to make dang sure that we're not going to get anything stuck in there all right so we're at another field here this one we could probably go on this one but i might just wait that day or two and uh, we'll do both fields back to back but i gotta go check on that corn because uh if we can go on it we gotta go on it i'm just gonna take the quad back there because truck's a little too big and i don't want to run over any corn if i can help it we'll just zip back there real quick yeah i'd say a about ready to go for silage like we're looking really dang close like i'd say another couple days here what hold up is that a truck how have i never noticed that before i guess it's fallen like the leaves are starting to fall down here well i guess that's that's pretty self-explanatory but what the heck wait a second this is this is grandpa's old uh what, what was it what is it uh gmc yeah this was grandpa's old gmc no flipping way look at this thing oh man it is just beat to crap but this has been tucked away here for a while. I've been looking all over on this property for this truck. Because I asked one of my uncles that used to work out here with my grandpa if there was any old vehicles around here or anything. And all he knew of was the Dodge in Grandpa's Moonshine Barn. But this, this is the truck I was really after. No flipping way. Okay, I gotta get this thing out of here. But it is, I don't know how long this thing's been sitting here for. I don't know how the heck I didn't see that before. Maybe there's just too much foliage. I haven't been here over a winter or even a fall so dang okay i i know we're supposed to be doing a lot of other stuff right now but i am way too excited for this i gotta get this thing out of here i gotta get into some sunlight okay i'm grabbing a tow chain and we are getting that thing out of there it seems like the perfect tractor for the job the old 710 i just gotta find myself a chain now all right i found myself a chain in one of the sheds here we're gonna try to get this sucker out no flipping way i found that thing i have been searching for that thing all over this dadgum property see here's the thing about grandpa is uh he pretty much used 
something till it couldn't be used no more. And even after that, he'd try to use it. But once it was really like gone, he didn't even want to see it anymore. So he just put it somewhere where you couldn't really see it. And he did a pretty dang good job of that. So if there's one thing out here, there's got to be more. I swear it was like right under my nose this entire time. We're going to try to get this chain hooked up here. Okay, I think it's good. I got it pretty much attached right to the motor mount. There is... There's no motor in this. You know what? Is there? I can't even see. It's it's so wrapped in bushes. I'm just gonna try to tow this sucker out. Oh, here it goes. Oh man, look at this. Well, there is a motor in it. Okay, never mind. Can I turn this wheel? Cause I gotta get this to go this way. All right, I got it turned. That was that was a heck of a turn job. Oh man, it's moving. We're cruising in first gear here. Oh, now it's going to the side at this point. Oh, it's coming out. Slowly but surely. And we just got to try to yank it this way. I think this is the first time this thing's seen sunlight in a long, long, long time. And it is rusty. Like, really rusty. <laughs> Surprised it came out of there, though. Looks like the tires are still holding a little bit of air. Oh, boy. It's rolling down the hill. Stop it. All right. That'll do. This is nuts. Look at this thing. Now, I think this is going to be a restoration job and a half. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe. I'll leave it the way it is. Like, I'll fix everything that needs to be fixed to get it running if the motor's not seized. Surprisingly enough, it did shift into neutral. So I think that might say something, but for the rest of the truck, you know what? I might just leave it the way it is. If I can get it running at the very least, I think that'll be a, a win, but I might just leave it. Of course, there, there's definitely some things I will have to fix on this to, like, make it drivable, like brakes, wheels or tires i guess the gas tank uh the engine for sure i'll have to get working headlights this uh this whole bed here might just rattle off on its own i'm not entirely sure there but uh you know i'm i'm sure yeah yeah it'll be fine it'll be fine okay well uh i'm just actually gonna leave this here for now because we have some more work to do but i'm i'm actually gonna try to look up online here real quick like what year this could be okay so after looking it up here it looks like it's a 19 37 i think gmc I, I don't know if there was a particular model to this or whatever and you can see there just the faintest engraving of gmc or is that a badge it could be a badge but yeah this thing it's gonna need some work all right um on to some other work here okay so if you guys remember that cornfield back over there that's getting turned into silage now i have a forge harvester but i don't have anything really to uh dump said forge into so the guy that's actually going to be buying all of that silage i guess is giving me some sort of a silage cart to uh take that to his place with so we're gonna go pick that up because the corn's almost ready to go and when it's ready we want to have that good to go as well which reminds me i gotta pull the forge harvester out and get that service too so oh boy it's never gonna stop here until all this is done in reality we'll be busy till the snow hits well looky here i'd say this ought to work now since i don't have anybody extra here at the farm this is gonna have to attach right to the forge harvester and then once this thing's full you detach it and you take it to wherever it needs to go to get dumped actually i did not pick a good spot to bring this into Let's hope i can back this up here how are my backing up skills not great when it comes to this oh yeah we got her though i think we'll just park this right here for now okay I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this thing running. This thing's old, it's rusty, it's dusty, and frankly, it's not great because it's a new Holland. <laughs> but I think it I think it might run. I'm going to pop open the back here, toss a new battery in it, check it over, make sure all the fluids are good, and we'll give her a test. See if she'll fire on up. Okay, in theory, everything should be good now. Let's see if she'll go here. Almost that time. You good? Running? All right. Well, battery lights on. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know how to run this thing. I think this makes you go up. Oh, it's working. Okay. Now let's try to go backwards. Oh, there it goes. We're moving. This is touchy. This is very, very touchy here. Let's try and unfold the pipe here. Oh, okay. We're going. We're moving. Okay, I'm just going to pull this over here in case uh, something decides it's not going to work right. So we lower this down here. Turn that on. Oh, dang. That looks dangerous. Okay, I think everything works. Let's just turn that off and I'm going to go check all this here. Yeah, I think some of this might need new blades. I'm not entirely sure. You know what? I might just uh, get a new Holland technician out here and just uh, get them to go over it. Check it all out. Make sure it's good to go. I do want to see if it's going to hook up to this... Uh, what is it called? I think it's a forge box or something. Not entirely sure. We're going to try to hook that up, see if it'll work. All right, we got the tractor unhooked here. Is it going to work? I think it will. All right, that hitch is looking a little too angled, but we can move it down, which helps out a lot. Well, this thing does have a PTO on it. We don't need to hook it up 
and uh well this thing doesn't even have a pto deal on it the only time you need that really is when you're unloading because we should just be able to blow all the chaff into the back there and then uh as that gets fuller it'll just get well full up to the front so hopefully this works as intended i don't know if it will we'll see the only annoying thing is gonna be i guess unhooking all this whenever this thing gets full and then transporting it to the other farm there so we can dump it out but this shouldn't be too bad but I think we're going to get this truck pulled into the shop there. I guess it's going to be my winter project here. Well, boys, it's another busy day out in the farm, and we got so much stuff to do. It's actually ridiculous. But uh, today we got to finish harvest, and then I think the corn is ready to go to get uh, chopped into silage. So hopefully I can figure out how to run this thing properly. I don't know how that's going to go. But we're going to hop in the semi here and get going out to the field. Anyways, we're supposed to get rain this week, so I'm going to try get everything that I possibly can done before that, hopefully, because I think we're already a little behind on harvest here. So we got to get rolling. All right. So this is our next field here. And since I don't have anybody to pick me up, I got to go and run over to the combine myself. That's going to be fun. I'm thinking we won't really need the grain cart because the field's not that big. So I can just dump it into the semi, I guess. Let's hope I can get down the road here. This header is awful wide. Well, we made it. That wasn't a very long drive, but we made it. I think I still got everything set correct on the combine, so shouldn't have to adjust any of that. I know somebody commented on the last video, uh, the header is, is a little big for the combine. And uh, they're right. They're right about that. But you know what? Go big or go home. It still kind of works. I really just need a header trailer for it, and then we'll be a lot better off trying to get this down the road. Well, everything seems to be going good so far. Uh, the field is yielding not too bad, so we should get this off in no time. I think this actually may be one of our smallest fields. I'm not entirely sure. I don't even think we're going to get a full tank off of this, to be honest. It is looking like we might get... 75% something like that not too much just on the last little bit of this field here we'll get this finished off dump it in the trailer and then we'll head over to the next section there get that done and then I think we'll be pretty much done harvest as far as beans go this year and the combine definitely needs a wash this thing is looking dirty now it's pretty dang close with my prediction of about 75% we got 72% so not horrible but not great. All right, on to the next set of fields. Okay, so I got everything moved over here to the next field. I had to uh, bring the service truck over here because needed to wash the windows. I didn't have the squeegee and anything with me to uh, do that, so that was all in the service truck. Anyway, windows are slightly more clean here, so I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit. Didn't do the best job here because we're almost finished. But yeah, that last field there was the smallest field we had. This one is just a tad bit bigger though. Oh, it looks like somebody already got to one of their fields here. I think one of my neighbors owns this one. Actually, scratch that. He does own that one. And apparently he's looking to downsize a little bit and he might want to lease out some ground for next year. So maybe we can get this big piece here. Actually, all the surrounding pieces here I think he owns. So that might be a pretty sweet deal if we could get this entire chunk. Oh, I'm missing some. I'll have to go back for that one. But yeah, if we can get this entire chunk, that would be awesome. Well, we're getting closer here. This field is not taking long at all, as I expected. But everything seems to be dried out real nice, so at least we're not getting stuck this time around. Next year may be a different story, though. Who knows? And that is a wrap on bean harvest. Finished up. Well, I'm gonna get this dumped. We'll get everything back to the farm here, and then if there's still enough daylight left, we're gonna try to get on silage here, which I'm thinking there should be silage shouldn't take too long although there's quite a bit of land back behind the farm there so who knows all right time to try get this back to the farm without hitting anything the deer would just get out of the dang road we might be a little better off here now let's see if we can get this big thing through the yard actually you know what we might just stick it right here for now probably be a better place for it then it's kind of out of the way well everything's back at the farm now or am i gonna park the semi here we'll just park it around back because i'm sure we're gonna have to move stuff around in the next little while here i'm gonna have to do harvest cleanup another day because we got way too much to do right now but hopefully i can get it done sometime this week i think but my neighbor just called the guy that i was supposed to go bale hay for like way earlier this year he said he wants to do his uh little hay field back at his house which is literally right across the road from us so better late than never i suppose but now we got even more to do anyways while well, we still got daylight left here i think we're gonna try get a little bit of salvage done and see how that goes I just got to see if I can figure out how to run this thing. Pretty sure I got a good idea of it, though. Okay, I think everything's on. I think everything's good here. I think we're going. This corn is flipping tall. Oh, man. We're going to be getting a lot of silage out of this. 
Okay, so we made it to one of the other fields back here. I think I'm just going to try and cut a path all the way back because I know there's another field or two just so we can get all the way back here for now. Yeah, there's a little more space back here at least. I think if we can, I'll just try to polish off these two small fields back here. I don't know if we'll get them all in the wagon, but we can sure as heck try. Then we'll just work our way forward. Well, we got the first small field done back here. There's one more small one back here. I don't know if we're going to fit it in the cart, but we'll try our best. We are slowly running out of daylight though. That worries me a little bit. All right, we got our first full cart here, so I'm just gonna bring this to the edge of the field we'll grab a tractor take it to the neighbor's place and uh, get that unloaded this is actually working not too bad better than i thought it would we still got a little bit left back there in that one field all right that'll do it right there i think the old 4040 should do this oh yeah it's got this no problem i think there may be a little something wrong with the roof on this but yeah It'll be all right. Well, we'll get this to my neighbors, get it unloaded, and uh, head back for another. Okay, this should be the place right here. Yep, there's the silage. Uh, well, I guess silos. Looks like he's got the blower already there, and with the tractor, I very, very much want, but he won't sell to me. Seems about right. Hold up. Just got to start up this old beast first. There we go. And I think we can unload now. Yep, everything's working. I think this just takes a minute to unload. That's all. So we're gonna be here a little while just about unloaded this is gonna be one of many i think okay back to the farm so according to my uncle the last time there was silage done on this farm it was roughly 10 years ago which is nuts so we're doing silage on the farm for the first time in 10 years which is kind of cool it's not really for us but we're still doing it i guess grandpa used to have a bunch of cattle so that's what he did it for but he kind of got rid of all of them Maybe I'll, I'll start getting back into cattle. That just seems like a whole nother deal to start, but maybe at some point. We're just going to cut another row down here until we get to the other uh, field, and then we'll get that finished. Another field done. Two more big ones to go. I think we're going to try for a headland on this side. See how it goes. I'm keeping my eyes peeled on the sides here for, uh, you know, old trucks and tractors. You never know what grandpa stashed back here. And since I found that last truck back here, I've seen some traces of other vehicles, like random parts and such, so... Who knows what else is out here? Full again. Time for another load back to the other farm. Well, boys, the cart is once again full. We got this other field finished off here, minus this one little piece here, which I'm actually going to get. But I think we're going to call it good on silaging. I'll take this cart to the farm tomorrow morning, and then uh, I think we'll finish off the rest of the field. But for now, I got a couple other things I want to do on the farm before it gets too dark. It looks like I'm going to have to get out uh, the mowing equipment again to mow that neighbor's pasture there, which uh, won't take long, but still got to do it, I guess. I got to get this entire shed organized before winter because there's a lot of stuff I got to put away, most of which I think I'm going to try get in the shed or uh, put in these other sheds here. I still got to clean up from harvest, so there's that. I got to drag out a bunch of equipment from the back of the property there because I want to get that cleaned up before winter. I got to start working on my uh, winter project. There is just way too much to do. I got to clean up grandpa's car before we put it away for the winter. But I figured we just whip over here and check out this little piece that I got to mow. Yeah, this will not take long. I'm just going to talk to the neighbor here real quick and see what we want to do about it. Okay, so just had a quick chat with the neighbor here. I'm coming to mow this tomorrow afternoon. And he said in return for doing that, he's going to let me have this entire shop back here rent free where we can put equipment in. It's covered. It's nice. So we actually get to store a bit more stuff, which is perfect for the winter. He doesn't use it at all so he said he was going to rent it out anyway and that just makes it easier for us so i think we'll be able to get the combine at least in there which is nice i guess and as much as i'd like to finish off the silage tonight i really don't want to be doing that in the dark the lights on that machine are not the greatest so yeah last thing i need is running into something and wrecking it and all that you know what's sad my garden I never ever got to plant it it is just full of weeds at this point that is just yeah i oh i forgot about these pails i still gotta take these to my uh one neighbor there. Okay, well, more stuff to do. Well, boys, it's another day, another dollar out here on the farm. Now, today's a pretty exciting day for one reason, one reason only. We're getting a new tractor. Finally, the wait is over, and hopefully that's going to help out with some stuff around the farm. But first things first, harvest is now finished up here, so we got to get everything cleaned up and put away here. We also still have some silage to do, so we got to do all of that. And even though it's very late in the season, we've got to make just a little bit more hay, so it's going to be a busy day. So I'm thinking for the time being, we're just going to get everything kind of put away back here 
Ranger will eventually organize it, but we got to pull out so much equipment and all that. I think it's just better off to uh, put it away later. We've also got to go dump some grain here. So I'm probably going to go uh, pull that truck back there and we'll get uh, this trailer emptied. Just got to swing this thing on in here. There we go. That should about do it. There's not a whole lot in here, so it shouldn't take too long to unload. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the soybeans here. I got to take that auger down off the bin there. We're going to have to get that returned to my neighbor at some point here. I don't think we're going to do that today, but uh, sooner than later, hopefully. The good old 4040 should do the job here. Hopefully, we can get this thing out of here without smashing anything, preferably. Let's try not to whack a tree here, because this is not my auger. There we go. That should do it for now. All right, so we still have some hang to do over at my neighbor's place there. They kind of set it off to last minute, so we're doing this, like, really flipping late in the season. Like, really, it should wait till next year, but... He wants to do it, so it's up to him. But in return for doing that, we get one of his shops for the entire winter, which is hopefully going to help out with storage. Now, my new tractor should be getting delivered later today, so we just got to wait on that. So in the meantime here, I think we're going to try to get this hang done. It shouldn't take too long. The field really isn't that big. All right, so this is a field here. We really should not be cutting this this late, but I'm just going to go talk to my neighbor here real quick, make sure he's still good with it, and if so, we'll get this cut. Well, he changed his dadgum mind on me, but... He's still giving us uh, the shop back here for the winter. So it is what it is, I guess. Let's work for us. We already got enough stuff to do at the farm. He said, we'll just cut it next year when you're doing your hay. So it won't add on too much extra work. At any rate, this gives me a pretty good excuse to uh, organize this shed here. Finally. Now, really, I should be putting this stuff in the shed we're supposed to get for the winter. But my neighbor still has some stuff to clear out. So we'll get to that eventually. It's starting to get a little bit chilly. But I think it's going to be a while till the snow flies yet. So... We should hopefully have some time. This disc is getting parked where the combine was because we have a brand new spot for it this year. Hopefully a little more out of the elements. All right, so we're back out here at the cornfield. Now, uh, this silage trailer is full, so we got to go take this to farm not too far away from us. Now, for those of you who don't know, my neighbor paid me to plant that corn and silage it for him because he needed a little more extra silage this year, so we were happy to do that. Now, there's not too much left, so hopefully we'll get that finished off today and we can get back to working on other stuff on the farm. But first, if you guys are looking for a gaming PC, look no further than Apex Gaming PCs. I personally use an Apex Gaming PC and I absolutely love it. And with the Austin Farmer line, they're built to run Farm Sim or any other game you might want to play perfectly. So I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to go check them out. Also, be sure to use code FARMER for a great discount. Anyway, back to the video. All right, just got back from dropping that off here. I think we got maybe three or four more carts left out there. Not a whole heck of a lot. If I didn't have to run this back to the farm every time, I'd have uh, this done a long time ago. But hey, maybe next year we'll be making our own silage. Who knows? And you know what? Maybe three carts max. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, look at this. We're making a dadgum corn maze through here. That's right. Ten bucks pop, you can go through my corn maze. Maybe a corn maze is more lucrative than farming, but who knows? Them soybean prices are pretty dang good this year. You know what? There might be less here than I originally anticipated. Uh, it might only be like a cart and a half. Literally half of what I originally thought, so... I guess we'll see. Maybe the corn in this field isn't as thick as the others. How the heck am I supposed to see? Corn's as tall as the dadgum cab. Ah, dang. We're not quite gonna be able to fit it all into this cart. There's not much left. Well, that's another cart full. Probably another half to go. Well, we're on the last pass. And that is silage done. Look at that. All right, we'll get this thing unhooked. Get it to my neighbor's place, return the cart. And then I think we're going to get to cleaning all of this up. This thing is dirty. You know what? By the time we get back, my new tractor should be here. Actually, I'm just going to give the guy a call here. See where he's at. All right, so I just gave the guy a call. He should be here in about 30 minutes. So we should just have enough time to run that cart back and meet him for delivery. According to my uncle, it's been quite a long time since uh, there's been a new tractor on this farm. Well, a tractor that's new to us anyway. Minus the combine, I guess. I'm kicking this sucker into road gear. I want to get back on time. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, man, it's so shiny. Look at that. Oh, I've been waiting for this one for a while. So this is our brand new addition to the farm, a four-wheel drive case 8950 with a red front end loader and bucket to match. You know, to be honest, grandpa might not be the happiest with me if he's seen this, but we got some red on the farm now. And if you couldn't tell, well, grandpa was a John Deere man. He was never really a big fan of the cases. If it uh, was anything on his farm, it either had to be New Holland or John Deere. Minus the exclusion of this Kubota tractor. But this is our new to us case. It should make a great addition to the farm. It's a bit bigger than our 4040 over there. So it's got a little more horsepower, a little more pulling power. We can put duels on it and, uh, of course, take off the front end loader if we want to run something bigger. This actually should be able to run the disc with duels. I'm not entirely sure, though. But it'll be something a little nicer to pull the Vermeer with. And it should definitely help out around the farm. Now, I think I got to go sign a delivery paper. But after that, 
it's back to work all right so one project i have definitely been putting off for way too long is finishing moving the last of the bales now this should be the perfect opportunity to use my new case it's got a grapple bucket so that should work pretty good yeah there's only like six bales here to move so shouldn't take too long all right let's see if i can figure out how to run this thing yeah not too bad pretty simple so far that is and it's actually got a little bit of weight to it if i put some duels on the back it definitely be able to lift up bales no problem but it's not too bad mind you these are the big bales so these things do get pretty heavy well it can pick up two and not tip over good start for the case here it is a little tippy though i will say that okay apparently i didn't learn my lesson from last time i forgot you had to uh even out those bales or else the trailer will tip it's got the smaller bales easy though all right we got all the bales loaded up there my neighbor's actually gonna come pick them up because i got too much to do over here so that makes it a little easier for myself a look at the size comparison on these tractors the case is a heck of a lot bigger okay i flipped the other tractor around now you can actually see it a little bit better i think the only reason why the 4040 looks bigger right now is because it's got those floater tires on it so that makes quite the difference all right it's time to get this thing cleaned up it is crazy dirty and needs a wash before we put it away i think i'll try service some stuff too while we're at it you know i feel like this farm was not built for a combine or header this big but oh well well would you look at what just showed up just on time my new header trailer the co-op came through brought this out for me because really i i can't move this around anywhere with it on the combine so this is gonna make stuff a lot easier just gotta get it on there now oh that'll do it i had the co-op guy just put it right back here we'll get this thing moved later but for now we gotta move even more equipment it never ends my neighbor just called said the shop is good to go so we're gonna get this thing moved in there along with a bunch of other equipment well plans changed this thing does not fit in that shop so yeah i really should have measured that first before trying to plan all of this out well back in your old spot i guess so much for having it in storage this year well it is in storage but better storage than this at least gonna give this thing a quick wash before we get it put away would you look at that it fits well i've even surpassed my own expectations on uh what i would fit in here but we got the new holland both vermeer pieces of hanging equipment the cedar the grain cart and the 8850 and all that it's nice and snug in here and it's gonna sit in here for pretty much the rest of the winter that worked out good it's about the end of the day here i still got lots of work to do lots of stuff to put away but i think i'm gonna call her a day boys it's a new day and that means lots more work to do so last episode we finished up harvest here and we're kind of just trying to clean up everything and get the farm ready for winter but one of our big projects we still have left for this year is getting all of this old equipment out of here and sent off to the scrapyard now i know it's classic equipment and all that now i did ask the classic equipment museum if they wanted any of this and they said no they already have like three of these so uh yeah, it's getting junk. So the scrap guy's gonna be here later today and we're gonna get all that taken care of. But for now, we got enough to do around the farm to keep us busy for a while. One thing I've wanted to do for a while now is get this massive tree taken down that's right by our grain bin here. We did have to cut some branches off of it earlier this year because we couldn't get in there with the auger to fill that bin up. So we're just gonna take this entire tree down here. Actually, first things first, I gotta get this bale trailer moved. We gotta get that taken care of or else see a tree could come and crush that thing pretty easily. We've also gotta take an auger back. We gotta get the rest of the stuff in in this shed man it's gonna be a busy day and i gotta give this truck a wash it has not gotten washed all harvest and it is crazy dirty i'm thinking we're just gonna put all the trailers augers just in the shed here since we got most of the space freed up from putting a lot of our stuff in our neighbor's shed there so there's lots of space in here now timber man that's a big tree we're just gonna get this cut up into smaller chunks here and then we'll just take the loader and uh put it probably towards the back of the property okay so i got the tree chopped up here pretty good i just gotta move that dang header trailer out of the way so we can actually just stick all those trees probably just back in here looks like there's already a few maybe in a year or so we can cut those up for firewood but for now we'll just let them sit back there i'll just stick this in the shed while we got it hooked up that'll do it all right hopefully this grapple bucket works good enough here well that didn't go to plan yeah this isn't sketchy at all oh dang it i lost one i might just have to pick a lot of them up one at a time here there that's a good scoop for once oh oh i don't want to lose them i didn't lose them i hope that equipment there is not too hard to get out of there it shouldn't be i guess we'll see it could be sunken in there pretty good but i'm sure the old case could probably pull it out dang these logs are heavy and down the uh, front end of this thing pretty good i need like an actual wheel loader because this thing's great but it's just we need something that can really move a good chunk of stuff and i could load up more bales that way maybe if i find a used one i'll uh, pick that up well that should do it nothing left there but a stump so 
That'll make it a lot easier to get in and out of there. I was thinking about keeping the semi and grain trailer in here, but I think we have enough room in the main shop to where we can put the semi in there. We'll just keep the grain trailer out here. Eventually, I'd like to tear this other bin down too, because it's getting pretty old and it kind of makes it all cramped in here. And we haven't really used this grain dryer much, so maybe it's time to get rid of that too. And we'll just stick a few bigger bins in the back. All right, grandpa's old truck here. So this is a project I have set for this winter. Now we're going to try get it in this shed if we can. Probably just like right back here so we can work on it nice and open. And grandpa's old moonshine running car. This thing's going to be going in the uh, house garage here. I don't really put much in there, so should be good. So over harvest, me and my buddy swapped augers as he needed the auger I had and I needed the auger he had. So it actually worked out pretty dang good. But since harvest is over now, we're going to go get ours and uh, give his old one back. All right, got the old Westfield back here. Not much use to us here, so I may uh, try to sell it. Maybe get something a little bit better, but who knows? We'll see. Might work good for unloading the grain out of the bin this winter when we want to sell it. For now, it's going in here. Even if it keeps it out of the elements just a little bit, it's better than nothing. Yeesh, time to give you a bath. My old construction truck, now a farm truck. Those weeks or months without getting washed. I think actually there's a couple more things I might have to wash. This thing included, but I'm worried if I wash it, it'll just like fall apart because the rust is so dang bad on it. There we go. Nice clean equipment again. So the old 710 tractor that used to be in here, we actually put it in my neighbor's shed there since we don't really use it a whole lot and uh, it's probably just better sitting over there. Frees up more space in here. But I think I'm going to take the skid steer and just try push this thing kind of right back here, especially since there's snow in the forecast. So uh, we're going to try to get that done. I was also looking at newer skid steers just because we need something that's going to lift a little bit taller. So, well, there we go. Plenty of space on either side. Should make working on this thing a breeze. Okay, so I just got a call from the scrap guy. He is on his way here to pick up all of our old junk. So we got to try to get that towed out of there. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this tractor is going to attach to uh, the old combine here, but we'll give her a shot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Now let's see if we can get it out of here. Oh, yeah. Just rolls right on out of here. We don't got to worry about uh, flat tires. This thing's on big old steel wheels. We'll just tow this to right about here. Well, the old baler's coming out here. I don't know when the last time this thing was used, but it is sure as heck not getting used here. So it is coming out. Do we got anything else that needs to be scrapped around here? I'm not seeing a whole lot. Yeah, I think that might be about it, surprisingly. I thought grandpa would have more through here. He probably does somewhere. I swear that guy probably has a whole junk pile of old equipment sitting in some back property that he sold or something. I have no idea. I might have to ask my uncle about that. Well, the scrap guy is here and it looks like he's running way too small of a truck for this thing. But uh, you know what? That's his deal. He's got his loader here. I think he's going to try to load up most of this stuff i guess we'll see all right so the uh, guy asked me if i wanted to run the loader well he uh spotted me here so i guess we're running a loader now this is what i want for the farm this would be perfect okay so we got the header taken off the combine here because we could not load it up attached so we're gonna try get this on hopefully it works we will try our best okay so surprising change of plans here we got the baler loaded up on here um yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. No, no, no. This is all right. This is all right. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that'll do it. So he's going to come back for the header after, and we're going to try to get the main part of the combine loaded up here. This is going to be sketchy. I don't even know if it's going to fit on the trailer, but we'll try our best. We'll just set the header down here, and we'll see if we can get this thing loaded up. I think we're going to put some chains on the front here and just try to lift the front entirely up and just push it right on would you look at that it fits oh i don't want to try to take this thing off here just set it down real nice perfect it's good we got it that'll work and it's not even too wide awesome we'd fold this pipe in here but uh that's yeah, that's a little bit permanent so it's gotta stay we'll get this thing strapped down for him i think he's doing some stuff in the truck there and uh he'll come back in a bit for the header and his loader but dang i'm surprised this fit on here look at that Header's all loaded up here. I think he's just going to grab one of his attachments there, and he'll get loaded up and be out of here. That is all the junk equipment gone. That was quick. You know, usually I'm not one to question someone's loading techniques, but... But this, this is a new, um, this is a new deal for me. I, I may slightly question this one, but you know what? If it works, it works. That is also quite the, uh, claw he's got there. All right, well, I think he's gonna get out of here, and we're gonna get back to cleaning up the last of this farm. So now the real question is, are we gonna be able to fit the rest of the tractors in here? I don't know if we are, but we can sure as heck give it a shot. Okay, I believe that's as far forward as we're getting that now i have an idea for the case here we're gonna see if it worked what do you know 
it does. I honestly did not think this would happen. So whenever we need to plow snow or whatever else, we can just bring this bad boy out of here to the side door and get it right out into the yard. Well, this is perfect. Hope I can still close this. Yep, we're good. I also have a side door here. I just never use it. So we can get in there without having to open up the big doors. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much everything cleaned up here for the winter i was going to put this loader back on here but there's no way in heck we'd fit in the shed with that on so eh, it's just gonna stay there but we'll put away grandpa's car in the main shed here and the good old ford is just gonna stay out here it should be all right but there's snow in the forecast and uh yeah it appears we got snow and uh lots of it so it's another day back out here on the farm and yeah we got a lot of work to do it snowed like crazy last night there is snow on the roof snow in my driveway snow in front of my shop there's just snow everywhere so we're gonna try to get some of this cleared out so my yard is like somewhat accessible and then go from there let's hope the good old case will fire up here not too sure if it will but we'll give it our best shot oh yeah fires right up we'll let this warm up here for a little bit and uh in the meantime i'm gonna go check on all my equipment over here so we have soybeans in this bin and uh we got to get these out and get them to the elevator so we can actually make some money off of them and of course the day that we have to take them out is the day it snows seems about right but we got to get all this plowed out before we can even think about doing that all right case is warmed up here get to some snow plowing first things first is we got to get the shop cleared out so we can actually open up the doors might actually use the skid steer for that because it's a little bit easier to get in there and there's so much snow through here this is gonna take for ever crap is like drifted up it's pretty warm out here today not warm enough for the snow to melt but warm enough so the snow becomes all sticky and just clings to the bucket and all that so it makes it a real pain perfect weather for building a snowman though well we'll see if the skid steer can do any better here i got the forks on right now so i gotta go grab the bucket that cleans the doors up real nice like the skid steer is doing a better job than the dang tractor to be honest that bucket for the tractor does not work the best for moving snow well i just got a call from my buddy ricky down the road he said he got a new plow for his tractor or something and uh he says it doesn't work for his smaller tractor and his bigger tractors down right now so he's wondering if we can uh, pop over there and try plow out his yard for him which we don't even have our yard plowed out but he said i could use the blade over here if i wanted to and i feel like a blade might be a better choice for all this so we're gonna pop over there real quick with the case so we can do him a favor all right so we just got down here to ricky's got the blade attached and this thing is really really nice just way too big for his current tractor that's here right now so we're gonna help him out real quick see if we can get this uh fixed for him oh dang this thing works good a lot better than the bucket that's for sure we'll have this done in like two minutes i should have bought one of these yeah his driveway is about as far as he got with that so we'll make quick work of this this is the same place where we dumped silage at well ricky should be happy with that we're gonna go take this blade back to my farm and hopefully get that all cleared out all right let's see how this goes oh pretty dang good this sure pushes a lot we're just getting back out to the bins plowed here real quick this is working better than i expected all right trailers plowed out here now we just got to get to the bin awesome bins cleaned out all right so i just finished getting the yard all cleaned up here pretty much got everything plowed out that we need to get so i'm gonna go grab a different tractor set up our auger and and I think we'll get the semi warmed up there so we can actually haul some grain. That blade helped a lot. We would have been sitting here for another couple hours trying to do it with just that bucket. So maybe I need to go buy a blade. Actually, while I'm over here, I might just uh, attach the bucket real quick. Just get it out of the way. Back this sucker out here. Okay. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. I need something just a bit smaller to actually... Uh, work for this but i might be in luck i think ricky has something at his main farm that would work for this well ricky came through we got the auger we needed and the roads are all plowed so i should be able to get to the elevator pretty dang easily with the semi the best part about this thing is we can actually move it on its own since it's all self-propelled so makes it really easy and we don't got to hook up a tractor to it so that's even better okay so we got the auger hooked up here the semi is warming up right now but I didn't think that I was going to have to pull the semi through here. So now we got to uh, move all of this snow, which shouldn't be too hard. Ricky's blade coming in clutch again. Same with his auger too. Well, that should do it. Well, we got the semi all warmed up here. Just got to go toss the trailer on and should be able to pull it right through. Well, that works perfectly. Better than I expected it to actually. Look at that. Filling up the trailer. Let's hope it's not too icy out or uh, we may end up in a ditch. Yeah, I think I may need to buy one of these augers here because we can't seem to fit anything around this yard. Either I got to clean some more stuff out or something. I think grandpa back when he was running the farm had some different augers, but I guess he must have sold them and just kept one. 
but that one doesn't seem to work for anything except this bin right here so i don't know how he was do managing that but grandpa had a way of doing things and i guess uh he made it work all right so we're only taking in one load today so let's hope we make it in there on time oh i messed up some of the road i got some snow on it all right well let's cruise to the elevator here and not end up in a ditch that's the goal so i'm just cruising back from the elevator here and buddy calls me up he's like hey you know right by ricky's farm how we have a trail going out to one of our houses it's like yeah i got stuck down it there he is right down there and ricky's not home so he can't pull him out so now i gotta go grab a tractor and see if we can pull him out ah dang kid i was getting stuck all right well we're gonna rip this thing back and hopefully we can uh get the tractor and the chain i don't know where my chain's at i gotta go find that so since we're gonna be taking in another couple loads over the next week or so here we're just gonna stick the semi over here i'll plug it in so uh hopefully it'll start when we need it to then we don't gotta worry about it because i ain't putting that stuff away again just to take it out well, I got my tractor and I got my chain. So the air conditioner could not be fixed the entire summer on this tractor, but at least the heat works dang good in this thing. So I'm gonna be nice and toasty in here. Dang, does this thing ever roll cold when it's cold? All right, let's go get this kid out. I guess they didn't plow the trail well enough. Must have blown over again. Oh yeah, there he is. All blown over again. Big drift right there. Try to plow right through it. Oh, dang. So not only do we have to get him out, we also got to plow the trail out a little more. All right, so we tried out two different chains and I guess we have no way to actually connect them. So so I'm just going to give him a little push out here. Give me the easiest way to do it. Just going to be careful I don't smack his truck. Got to push it right on the hitch here. Oh, come on now. Yeah, we're just lifting it up at this point. There we go. All right. You can try to get her out now. Oh, look at that. He made her out. Okay, we're going to try to uh, clean up some of the snow here. So when they have to come through in the future, they can actually get out. And these buckets really do not work great for this. All right, we got it all cleaned. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, we made it back to the farm here. I think I've still got just a little bit of snow to clean up here. And it does look like we're keeping my buddy's blade here just as his tractor can't run it. And anytime it snows, I can just come over there and plow out his yard. And it makes it easier for us to plow out our yard. So everybody wins in that end. Got to make sure my doors are all cleaned out here. Best I can get it. I'm hoping the fuel truck shows up today because we are out of diesel in the tank. And, uh... Some of the tractors are running just a little bit low. Although between all the cattle farms around here, he may be busy all day. So if he doesn't get to it today, he should get to it tomorrow. Now I got to clear up the snow from this shed because we got to hook up the trailer and go pick up something new. Now the plan was to wait till spring, but luckily for me, what we're going to go pick up came in a little earlier than I thought it would. We're just going to stick this in here. We're going to load up the skid steer, head on over to the equipment shop, and I bet you guys can guess what we're getting. All right, let's go. Check it out. A brand new addition to the farm. I've been waiting for this one for a while. So we ordered this thing in the fall and it was supposed to get here early, early spring, but uh, looks like it had other plans on showing up. So this is a brand new John Deere Triple 3G skid steer. It's not the biggest one that they make by far, but uh, I think it'll do the job. And now we should be able to hopefully lift seed bags. I should have probably put that down. Oh, well. Anyways, I think all the attachments we have for the old skid steer should fit on so we shouldn't need to go buy any new ones. I did want to get a new bucket though and possibly a new set of forks, but I think we can wait on that. Yeah, this works. And this thing lifts crazy high. Like, look how high that goes. It goes over the tractor cab, so we shouldn't have any issues lifting up the seed bags this year. And it's got weights, although it does not have weights in the back, so that could make for some trouble, but I don't know. We'll see. But I mean, we just got this thing, so... I might have to go test it out a little bit quick. I should have picked this up earlier today, but I didn't have the time. All right. Yeah, this works great. It's so much smoother than the old one. To be honest, the old one was a complete hunk of junk. That thing was getting old. And it can push a heck of a lot more than the old one, too. Lots more power. And it's tracked, so uh, it'll have a lot more grip. That's for sure. Should be able to pick up a bale with this. As long as I put some weights on it, I should be able to pick up a bale like no problem. But hey, at least now we got a solid skid steer on the farm. This is probably... Yeah, I bet this is the newest thing on the farm as far as uh, years go. So the combine's of 2018, I think. Everything else is pretty dang old. So yeah, this is uh, the newest. No, nope, never mind. The baler might be newer. Well, boys, it's another day out here on the farm, and it has snowed yet again. Now, today's actually a little bit warm for once, which is nice, so we can actually get some work done. Anyways, I'm going to get my semi fired up here, and uh, we're going to try haul some grain. Hopefully, there's not too much snow in the yard to where we can't get around, but I think we'll be okay. I'll still get it plowed out later in the day. Now, another project we have today is my neighbor has a cabin kind of right down there. I think it's more this way. Anyway, there's a kind of pond down there, and he asked if I could go plow out a trail to that today, so we're going to do that. But I think my semi's warmed up here, so 
We're going to get to hauling some grain first. Oh, we're slipping a little bit, but not too bad. We'll be able to make it through here. All right, we're going. Well, truck's topped off here. Got to jump out, close the cover, and we'll see if we can get out of here. Hopefully, I don't get stuck. All right, come on, semi. There we go. I'm still going to have to plow this out at some point today, but uh, hauling grain is first priority here. Hopefully, the line at the elevator is not too long. It shouldn't be. I hope not, at least. Anyways, soybean prices are really, really good right now, so now is the time to sell. And if I want to do renovations to the farm this spring, we're definitely going to need the money. Dang it. I think the heat went out on my semi. Well, this is gonna be fun. Hey, get off the road, deer. Oh, oh, did I just hit him? Nope, it's good. That was close. I want deer guts all over the front of my truck. Well, boys, it's later in the afternoon now. Uh, we're just pulling back up to the farm, and the line at the elevator was nuts. But I got offloaded here, so at least that's done for the day. Anyways, while I was at the elevator, I got a call saying that uh, my new quad is in. So we're gonna go pick that up. Hopefully the old uh, power stroke will fire up. Oh, yeah. Like nothing. Anyway, for those of you who may or may not remember, earlier in the summer, I bought a quad. It was a Honda, and uh, I traded it in. And in the meantime, I've been waiting for this new quad. Now, this new quad has a blade, and it's a heck of a lot more powerful. So, we're going to go pick it up, maybe plow some snow with it. Check it out. My brand new 2022 Can-Am Outlander 6x6. It's got the bed. It's got a gooseneck hitch, aftermarket wheels and tires, a fuel tank, and a plow. This thing's all done up. Now, the reason I bought this... I have no reason. I just wanted to spend money on something cool. So I bought this. And to be honest, my neighbor Frank, he was all high and mighty about his new Polaris there and I had to show him up a little bit. So I figured this would do the trick. All right, I'm not sure how well this thing's gonna handle this blade because it is pretty dang big, but I guess we'll find out. The yard's all full of snow, so perfect chance to use it. And we're gonna have to go plow out a cabin trail here later today. So we'll see how that goes. I'll shoot. This thing actually works pretty dang good. All right, so I got the front of the shop plowed out here. This thing seems to be working good, but the snow we got out here is pretty light, so it's easy enough to push. I don't know how well it would do if we got a big snowstorm. I imagine probably not great. All right, so far so good here. Just trying to move a lot of the snow into better piles. Trying to keep it a little more out of the way because I know we're going to have more snow this year, and uh, if I can move it just a little bit better, that makes it easier. I'm also just driving right up the snow piles. The 6x6... It's just a beast. I can't imagine this thing on tracks. It'd probably be like a snow cat at that point. You know, maybe I should get my neighbor Frank over here. Show him what a real quad can do. He swears that his little Polaris there will beat out any Can-Am when it comes to doing just about anything. I highly doubt that, so we'll have to see. Well, we got most of the yard plowed here. The 6x6 is doing a phenomenal job. I piled up all the snow in the trees there. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of runoff for that in the spring, but uh, we'll worry about that later. It'll be fine. But I'd say other than a couple little parts here and there, we pretty much got the yard done. wonder how big we can make this whole snow pile at the end. We already have a pretty big one going by the uh, house there. That got out of control fast. Can I climb this all the way? Oh, yeah. Heck, I can probably go into the next pasture. Oh, maybe I'm stuck. Nope. Hold on. I got to try this now. I can't not do it. Come on. Come on, six by six. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> this is my pasture too. I just haven't done anything with it. I'm probably going to do something with it this spring at least. Okay, now can I get back over? Okay, maybe I got to plow up a little ramp here. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. And I'm over. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, now I got more snow to clear up. This is great. All right, well, I would say the yard is pretty much done here. We got a lot of lights on this thing, so if I need to do it at night, we're pretty well good. I just got a little more to clean up by the door, and then I think we'll be good. There we go. That'll do it. Hopefully, there's uh, space inside the shed for this thing. I'm not sure if there will be, but we'll see. Well, it looks like I got everything plowed out just in time here. The fuel truck's here, so they're going to get uh, my tank fueled up. And then we'll hopefully have enough diesel to last us the winter. I was supposed to get a big fuel tank put in right here, but for some reason, that didn't end up happening so hopefully in the spring we get a big fuel tank so i can actually fuel my combine without having to uh you know get a whole nother diesel delivery all right fuel trucks just about to head out here and i think we're gonna head out to this cabin pretty soon and try to get that trail plowed out but we'll see how it goes i got my old kubota fired up here i only had to uh boost it up and turn it over like a million times but we got it going i'm just gonna get this put in the shed here i don't want it sitting out here all winter if i can help it and the shop is packed and now for equipment's even at the neighbors luckily they lended out our shop or else most of this would be outside all right so i believe i found the trailhead to this cabin here so we're just gonna get to plowing it would have been nice to bring out a tractor but i don't think it would have made it back here so you gotta stick with the quad Okay, so this is McCarthy's field, so if I head to the right, I was told I should hit the cabin. Everything's covered in snow, so it's really hard to see where exactly you're going, because there's not any, like, indicators of the trail, really. If this is the trail I'm supposed to be following, they really need to clear this out. All right, I think I see it right up ahead here. Oh, yeah, there it is. 
Okay, there is a lot of deer around here. Hold on, I just want to switch my blade the other way. I'm going to try to push the snow away from the cabin if we can. Yeah, they really need to clear this trail out. It's uh, not very easy to get through. My buddy said he got out here with a snowmobile the other day, so I think that's why it's all kind of cleaned out around here. It my job easier, I guess. And here we are. Look at this. Like the little cabin they got out here. Let's try to push some of the snow down from here. Sweet. It's a nice little cabin here. Got your lake out front. Like I said, it's not too far away from the farm either. I didn't even know he had this out here. Is the door unlocked? Oh, it is. Oh, sweet. Pretty awesome little cabin they got going here. Oh, heck yeah. They even got a TV, fireplace, just like everything out here. Hey, okay, well, I think I'm going to help him out a little bit and try to clear out some of the trees around here because it is bad. He said he got to it a little bit. I can see here. Oh, man, he really, really did cut down a few he said if i wanted to i could buck some of this up for firewood so i think that's what we're gonna do there's a couple branches here that are just gonna have to come down there hopefully now i can actually get through here with the quad all right so we really did a number on clearing out trees here i cut up a bunch of stuff cleared out way more room around the cabin because it was just bad it had gotten so overgrown it was time to uh get it all out of here well, we still got a bit more left just a couple sticks here and there well i think that'll about do it cabin looks good here there's a, such a nice bedroom in here dang i need a cabin but he said i could come out here and use this one as much as i wanted to so uh you know maybe i'll spend a couple days out here this winter i gotta get a snowmobile or something like that now let's see if we can just plow a trail out of here we've already had half of it done so he just wants to be able to drive his side by side out here without having to worry about getting stuck and we're getting it. Gotta try to plow it the other way now. All right, back out on the road. Let's get this thing home. All right, we made it back here. I'm just gonna keep this thing outside because uh, it's not supposed to get terribly cold over the next couple days. But I think minus hauling grain and plowing the occasional snow here and there, I think I'm pretty much good to sit back and relax for the rest of the winter. So there's one thing I completely forgot I need to do before my neighbor gets back, and that is plow out his driveway. He's getting back tomorrow morning, so we're just gonna go do that real quick. Did someone already get to it? for me oh this might have just been in the greater operator it's one of his buddies so he might have got to it a little bit oh yeah he did okay well i'm going to do just a little bit extra because why not yeah the greater can only do so well so we're just going to clean up the rest of it here for him hopefully it makes him happy plus all our equipment is stored in here so if i ever need to get it out it's good to have this all plowed out greater operator didn't even get in front of his house what the heck oh i might have hit his steps there uh they look all right i'll be fine oops going onto the road i'm it, i'm sure it'll be fine it'll be all right okay, if i don't clear this some little car is gonna come through here and absolutely smack this and then they're not gonna have a very good day well boys we're back out here on grandpa's farm and it is spring and that means we have got a crap ton of work to do so for starters we're gonna be getting ready to seed here pretty soon so that means we got to get all the equipment out of everywhere all the sheds and all that we got a bit in here and then the rest is over at the neighbor's shed we got to go get all that out and we've also got to get the seed pulled out of here so it's gonna be a busy day i'm just gonna run the six by six over to the neighbor's shed there we're gonna get some stuff fired up hopefully it fires up or else uh we may need to bring some booster cables over but we'll see how it goes man i have not been in here in a heck of a long time well it looks like we got a decent amount to pull out here so we better get to work 8850 just fires right on up like nothing that's perfect we'll let that warm up for a little bit we'll get the grain cart pulled out and then i think we're gonna get the cedar pulled out because that's the first thing we're gonna need all right there we go we're just gonna leave the grain cart back here for now because we're really not gonna need it until the fall i'm sure we'll get it put somewhere else at some point though all right let's see if we can try and move this cedar out of here this was a pain to get in i'm sure it's gonna be a pain to get out of here well it took me about 20 minutes but i think we finally got it here just about all right it's free finally all right so we did put the cedar away serviced so we shouldn't have any issues with uh i'm gonna make sure anything's good really i just want to do a quick check and then uh fill it up with seed so we're good to go here i think we should be able to start seeding tomorrow hopefully also over the winter i secured a bunch more ground so uh we're gonna be a lot busier this year than we were last year which is good that's a good thing we need uh we need a lot more ground to cover so the crappy thing about these kenzie cedars is the tanks where you need to put the seed into are fairly high up there and since we don't have a seed tender we need to use this uh tool for the front end loader on the tractor here i think we have a little bit of seed to hold us over here for the next day or so once we start seeding but we should be getting more from the co-op today or tomorrow depending when they make it out here they're very busy today so more than likely it'll be tomorrow oh yeah this case will do the job for sure i know the john deere lifting these up last year was uh, a bit of a challenge 
All right, I got the tanks opened up here, and that should be good right there. Okay, so both tanks are full here. I'm just going to set what's left back in the shed. We'll use that up again at some point. There's also this three-point bale spear that I have to get out of the way so I can get to the uh, liquid fertilizer there. And since I don't have forks with a tractor, we got to use our new skid steer here, which is a uh, pretty nice addition to the farm. Worked great for snow plowing. There we go. Sure lifts this pallet a lot easier than the uh, old New Holland we had. That thing was a hunk of junk. All right, we'll get the liquid fertilizer filled up, and then we should be good to go. Okay, I think we're about good to go for seeding here. The seeder is all filled up with everything it needs. I checked it over. It's good to go. So weather permitting, I guess, we'll uh, be going here in no time. There's also a couple more things I got to pull out here before we get out into the field. And I got a bit of cleanup I got to do back here yet. Well, would you look at that? It still runs. Figured I'd pull this thing out. I'm going to head into town for lunch a bit later here, but I got her going again. All she needed was a little bit of a battery boost. Man, I love this car. So if you guys have been keeping up with the series for a little while, you'll know that I found this truck out in the back of the property here. This is one of Grandpa's old trucks. Now, while I did not get to uh, working on the exterior of the truck over the winter, I did do something else. Anyways, before we take a look at that, I gotta get a tractor moved here and some other stuff. Ah, crap. I forgot to put the bucket right here. We should be able to squeeze through here, though. The old 4040 runs. I was actually talking to a neighbor of mine uh, down the road here, and he's interested in trading this tractor for something else. It's quite a lot bigger, and uh, with some cash on my end, he'd be willing to trade, so I don't know. Alrighty, so back to Grandpa's old farm truck here, but... She does run. After all these years, this truck, with a lot of work, mind you, fires up. Now, whether this uh, is completely going to fall apart the second I try to drive it, I don't know, but we're going to find out. Oh, oh, it moved. No, flipping way. This truck has not driven in a very, very long time. Man, this thing feels rickety, but it does in fact drive. Now, there's no way in heck this thing's road legal, so we're not even going to try driving on the road, but just around the farm. I mean, it's not bad. I think we're going to try uh, redo the body here. I'm going to send it to a guy that I know because I don't have experience for this. And uh, I'm going to be busy with the farm this summer. So. so who knows? Maybe by the fall, this thing will be up in tip top shape again. Still, pretty dang cool to have this thing running again. Although you can't really see crap out of the windshield. Watch, it's going to backfire here. Yeah, there it goes. All right, well, I'm going to run into town for lunch here. I'm going to go stop by the co-op, see if they're delivering my seed today. If not, they should get to it tomorrow, hopefully. Because we're going to need it. But if all goes to plan, we should be uh, seeding here pretty soon. And if I get a chance, I gotta go take a look at the uh, new land that we got. Well, boys, just made it back from town here. The seed should be getting delivered tomorrow. The car seems to be running good, too. I figured it might have some issues running for the first time this spring, but seems to be good. Anyways, I think I'm going to hop in my truck. Where's my truck at? Where, where, did, where did it go? There's tracks going. Okay, who took my truck? Was it one of my neighbors that took my truck, maybe? Unless it got stuck. Dolan? I don't- not out here. Okay, let me call Ricky, see if he borrowed my truck. I think he would have called if he would have borrowed it, but maybe not. All right, so I just talked to Ricky here, and, uh, he's my neighbor that just lives down the road there. He said he seen my truck driving by, like, 15 minutes ago, just before I got back. And he said it was- it was ripping pretty fast, and, uh, well, he didn't take it. Well, crap. Did my truck get stolen? There's no way. Not out here. Okay, I'm gonna call a couple other neighbors here, see if they maybe took my truck- you think someone would have called if they would have took my truck, but crap, if my truck got stolen, that that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, I'm going to make some phone calls here. Okay, so apparently no one knows where my truck is other than my one neighbor, Ricky, who saw it driving down the road. So I think it got stolen. That means I got to call the cops and try to figure out what to do from here. Who the heck would have stole my truck? Is there anything else missing? I don't think so. And out here, like, nobody locks their trucks. But I don't know if, I don't know if the keys were in it. I'm assuming they might have been. Is there anything else missing? I don't think so. Son of a gun, someone stole my flipping truck. Okay, I gotta call the cops here, at least the local sheriff, and try to figure out what to do. All right, so an officer just uh, showed up here. Apparently, there was uh, another robbery in the area. So two vehicles were stolen, not just mine. So they're gonna try to figure out what's going on here. But at any rate, I need a truck. Ah, uh, ah, oh, crap. Well, this this is not a good start to my spring. They're gonna try track down here. Uh, I guess they're gonna see if anyone has seen it. They're gonna go question Ricky because Ricky's really the only one that's seen it. I'd say I go look for it, but it, it's been like an hour now. And if if they uh, were speeding off with it, they're long gone by now. Heck, they could probably almost be to the next state. So yeah, this, this is not great. Well, boys, it's the next day here. And as you can see, there's a new truck. Now we'll get to that in a second here, but we've had some pretty crazy developments in uh, the stolen truck story. So as you know, it got stolen yesterday and uh, 
It apparently got seen by a couple people. Late last night, they found it and got into a chase with it. It got wrecked, completely totaled off. So insurance will be taking care of that. Now, normally the trucks that get stolen around here, there's not that many and they don't often get found. So last night I was like, you know what? Screw it. I knew a guy with this truck for sale. He gave me a really good deal on it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I pulled the trigger on it because, well, frankly, I need a truck. And uh, you know what? This thing's going to work perfect for what I need. It's even got bags on it. It's on bags all the way around so I can lift it and lower it. I can tow a good amount of stuff with it. And the Ford was probably due for uh, at least some serious mechanical stuff. So it's not a great thing that happened. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I got a cool truck now. Not to mention it is Cummins. So even better. And this thing's done up with all the bells and whistles and all that. So really, even though it is older than my Ford, it's still a nicer truck. And yeah, there's that all the way lifted up with bags. So not really a farm truck, but my previous truck wasn't really used as a farm truck just to tow the skid steer around occasionally and whatever else I needed. So this will work perfectly. Anyway, we can't seed quite yet today. I should be getting a delivery from the co-op for the rest of the seed that we need for the year. That are possibly the day after. Well, boys, it's another day out here on Grandpa's farm, and today, spring has sprung, enough to where we can get to seeding. Anyways, we've already got the seeder here, all good to go. It's all filled up with seed, liquid fertilizer, everything we need to get going. Now, we don't have a whole lot of seed left on the farm here, so we're getting a delivery from co-op today for all the seed and liquid fertilizer we're going to need for the rest of the year. But I'm going to fire up the old 8850 here, get it warmed up, and then we're going to head out to the field and get to work. Now, we are supposed to get rain later today, so I don't know how long we're going to be able to seed for, so worst case scenario if we get rain and we can't seed we're gonna take my 6x6 atv a log trailer that i bought a couple days ago and head out to a cabin that's not too far away from here and do some cleanup it's pretty much been abandoned since last year so uh yeah it's gonna need some work anyways let's get going out to the field here well we literally just drive across the road and we're already here but this is just one of many fields we're going to be planting this year so it's going to be a busy couple of weeks i'm pretty sure last year that we put this field into soybeans and we're doing the same again this year i was thinking about putting it into wheat to get straw out of this but i think we're going to do that into a different field but for now we're just going to keep the soybean this year we're going to be a lot more busy with seeding and harvest because we ended up renting out a crap ton more land because last year we really didn't have enough so this year i plan to stay pretty busy and we got all this grassland back here we cut it last year for hay i think we're going to do the same again because hay actually made us a lot of money and really there's not a whole lot of people that actually do hay around here minus a couple of farmers so i'm thinking we may as well keep it going well we got about another two passes here i'm pretty sure i just seen the co-op guys pull up there so they can wait just a few more minutes until i'm finished this then we'll go unload them there but this is pretty much the first field of the year done and so far, I've had no breakdowns, so uh, that's pretty good, I guess. We'll just pull this bad boy up. I think I'm going to park it on the side of the field here. No point in bringing it into the yard just yet. We'll go run over here and unload these guys real quick. I think we're just going to stick everything in the shed like we did last year as well. We also got all these uh, pallets of liquid fertilizer here. I'll just get those unloaded with the uh, kid steer. Might be the easiest thing. Well, there's the last of the seed there. Just go grab the skid steer and we'll get the pallets unloaded. And that GMC is squatting. I need to put some bags on that thing if they're hauling loads this big. Look at that. Easy. Old New Holland can never. So glad we upgraded skid steers this year. Makes things a million times easier. All right, there we go. Co-op's good to go. I'm going to put this last pallet away and we're going to get to work on some other stuff. So like I said earlier, we're supposed to be getting rain here. So I'm not too sure if I want to head out to the next field just yet. Might just work on some other stuff because we got a lot of stuff to do around here so i gotta move this uh old john deere 4040 here for two reasons number one we're getting a fuel tank put in here that's supposed to be getting delivered today and number two this thing's getting traded got a neighbor of mine who wants this tractor he was like hey i got another tractor i'll trade you for it Here's some cash on top because his tractor is just a little more expensive so uh we're gonna head out and go pick up our new tractor here and in the meantime our fuel tank should be getting delivered it literally just gets dropped off and then we hook up the power and it's good to go well boys this is it an international 6788, and I just ran over my mailbox. Hey, who hit that in the first place? So some of you may or may not agree with uh, this trade here, but I have personally always loved these tractors. I forget the name of them. There's like a special name of them. A two plus two or something? I can't remember. Anyways, as old as this machine is, it has been immaculately taken care of, and uh, it's well, a decent bit bigger than the old 4040. Now, while it doesn't have a loader, I think you can always put one on here. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but uh, really, we don't need more than one loader tractor around here. And we got a skid steer, so I think we're good to go. Now, unlike the old 4040, this tractor does have air conditioning and a nicer cab. Also, it's got a set of duels if we want to put those on, but frankly, I don't think we need them right now, so 
we're just going to leave the singles on. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to use this tractor for. It might run the disc. It'll probably be better at running the disc than the uh, 4040 there. Or maybe the grain cart, something else. But this is kind of a mid-sized tractor. Maybe a little bigger than mid size I don't know. It should work for uh, a couple things around the farm. Especially in the hanging equipment, which uh, the 4040 didn't really have the best power to run all that. So I'm pretty happy with the trade. And it looks like our fuel tank has not gotten delivered yet. Okay, maybe they're running a bit late today. Who knows? I figured while we have the time here, because of this uh, impending rainstorm, we get out some of the hang equipment here. Now, I think where this tractor is really going to shine this year is running this Vermeer mower. The 4040 just didn't have quite enough power, so this should be perfect. Now, obviously, we're not going to start mowing yet because, uh, well, it's spring. Grass isn't fully grown, so we got to wait a bit. But I still have to get it serviced. Well, I got everything about looked over here. Got it all greased. Checked all the bearings. I think everything's good to go. Well, not a rain cloud in the sky, but they're calling for it. I don't know. At any rate, we started seeding pretty early. We got about a week before we really got to put the hammer down. So I think I'm going to hop on my quad here and uh, we're going to head out to that cabin. See if we can get some uh, logs cut up. I do have a fireplace and uh, I'd like some wood for that. So may as well, while we have the time, do some work. Just heading down the power line cut here. Our turn to the cabin should be somewhere around here. I just got to look for the trail. Should just be right about here and this is all grown over like a lot well this is it well it's good to be back i was out here over the winter cleaned it up a little but really hasn't been touched since then i don't even think anybody's been out here that doesn't look like it anyways i did do a little bit of tree clean up here so i think we're gonna try maybe cut some of that up a little more load it onto the trailer here and uh take some of it out of here maybe do a little more tree trimming a lot of work to do back here well i've about spent the last hour here just getting everything organized cleaning it all up all looking pretty good now gonna load up a couple logs here hopefully the six by six can handle this i don't know this is gonna be a lot of weight we'll see how it goes though well we are all loaded down with wood here i'm just heading out of the bush there's probably another couple loads back there but we'll get to that later i also got a call while i was loading up wood there and i guess fuel tank got delivered so i'm gonna go check that out Still no rain. I thought we were going to go get rain, but uh, I guess not. So we might actually just go out and finish up seeding another field here. So we'll see how it goes. Well, would you look at that? Brand new Meridian fuel tank. Oh, man, we're going to have fuel for days now. Not going to have to get a fuel truck once a week. This would be perfect. Anyways, the 6x6 actually handled this trailer immaculately. I thought it was going to be not a good time trying to pull this back, but we got it back easily. Well, surprisingly enough, the next field we're uh, on here is right next to my farm. That's right. I ended up securing the uh, rent of it for this year and hopefully the next. We'll see. But we're going to plant this one to soybeans as well. And we also did get this little grass field over here. So we own that. So I guess now we, uh, we have this little grass field here. Probably end up cutting it for hay or something. And then all the little fields back there. There's one more little grass field back there that we got as well. And then we pretty much have all the land surrounding my farm, which is nice. And definitely a lot more hay land. But we should be making bales like crazy. But all this back here is getting planted as soybeans, and the rest of the fields are either getting corn or wheat. Depends. Ah, crap. We're out of liquid fertilizer here. All right. Hold this thing up, and uh, let's go get some liquid fertilizer. Fire up the old skid steer here. This thing loaded up, and we'll be back out in the field in no time. Well, we're back up and going here. Oh, I should have took that uh, disc and just disc that all into one field there, because now we kind of have to go over that, all that, but eh, it'll be fine. Best part, though, about having all this land right around my farm, I don't have to transport anything too far, so makes everything just a lot easier and saves us a lot in fuel. After we get this field done here, we got one more little one back there, then the other one behind that is just grass, so we'll just cut that for hay later in the year. Well, that'll do it for this field. On to the next. This will be like three passes and we'll be done. They did put lime on all of these, which is nice. So they probably tested the fields and uh, it probably needed it. So I bet you some of mine do too. I'll have to do that next year. So all behind that field, all right beside that little pond there. There's actually the cabin back there. So it's actually pretty close to the farm. But yeah, all back there, we still have all that we can cut for hay. Yeah, like I said, three passes and we're done. Well, I'm going to get the cedar filled back up here. So we're good to go for the further out fields. So we don't have to come back again for at least a little while. Might also load the trailer up too. We don't have to come all the way back to the farm just to get more seed and a little fertilizer there. Well, boys, it's another day, another dollar back out here on Grandpa's farm. So recently, we've been pulling quite a few hours out in the field here, trying to get all our seeding done. And that's been going well so far. But, you know, I figured I didn't have enough to do. So I bought a grain bin. Well, kind of an older grain bin. Now, you might be wondering what this grain bin is for. Well, to put it simply, I want to build another house. And I figured this would be the cheapest slash easiest way to do it. So basically, I've been seeing these grain bin houses all around. And I figured, hey, I know where to get a grain bin pretty cheap. So I went and bought one. I'm getting a contractor over here. 
It's already all cleaned out. We got it dropped off here the other day. So they're going to turn this old thing into a house, which should be pretty cool. So while that's getting done over the next couple days here, we have got a lot more work to do on the farm, such as filling up the cedar so we've pretty much gotten all the fields minus a couple little ones back there planted so now we kind of just got to do all the further away ones which kind of sucks because we're not right close to the farm we can't go get seed easily so what i'm thinking is we're gonna get the cedar completely filled up here i'm gonna grab the trailer with our dodge there we're gonna get that loaded up with seed and fertilizer take both those things out to the further away fields and then we shouldn't have to go back to the farm for a little while so we can actually get some work done but first things first is this thing needs some liquid fertilizer all right that's all filled up here i'm just gonna leave this pallet it out here because we're going to put it on the trailer anyway now i'm not entirely sure if this skid steer here can lift all the way up to those top seed tanks here with the seed bags but we're sure as heck going to give it a try now the question is can we lift both yeah i think we got it uh yeah the answer is no don't worry i got a solution for that an even bigger loader now this thing i know for a fact lifts up way more than enough all right well that's about two bags there i think it's pretty much full here, so we're just going to call that good. I'm going to actually put the uh, Cummins to work for once. I don't think we've really done too much with this truck other than drive it around from point A to point B. So we'll see if it can pull actually pull a trailer for once. I haven't really tested that out yet. I think we're only going to need uh, one tank there. We'll just grab two bags of seed, and that should do it. Hold on. I wonder if we can grab four. Is that possible? Yes, it is. Can this get here actually lift this? Oh, it can. Uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, it's looking a little tippy. We'll just grab two. That's all we'll need. I can't see crap while I'm trying to move these things. And there we go. Well, hopefully that should do it. Well, I'm going to get the John Deere out to the field here, and then I'm going to get my buddy Ricky to give me a ride back to the house here. I'll grab the second gen, and we should be good. I hope. John Deere's already got all the fuels, so should have more than enough. All righty. We finally made it. So this is a field that we planted last year. I believe we planted it in beans. So this year it's going corn. We kind of have to unfold on the road here because we don't have a whole lot of extra area. All right. I'm not too sure where Ricky's at here. He was supposed to meet me, but eh, I'm sure he'll show up eventually. We'll be good for a little while at least. Ah, crap. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. I forgot something gotta put these lids back on whoops okay now we're good the so last video a lot of you guys had something to say about my uh seeding techniques well as i stated before i took over this farm for grandpa as well i inherited it but uh you know i kind of also said i don't have a whole lot of farming experience so yeah i'm i'm not gonna be perfect at this i'm trying my best but we're making it work freaky don't show up here pretty quick we're just gonna be in the next field which is all right i'm sure we can go in the next field for a little while but i'm just getting everything folded up here to uh, head out to the next field. Ricky called me, said he was out getting some uh, pops for the shop party tonight. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to just go to the next field there, and he'll pick us up a little bit later. Yep, Ricky sure does love his pops. One time I seen him mowing his lawn, he was just uh, out there cruising around with a pop in his hand, riding a zero turn. Funny thing is, it was about 8 a.m. When I told him that, he said it's 5 o'clock somewhere, which uh, I guess he's got a point. Well, these are our next set of fields here down by a pond. Now look who decided to show up. Much like myself, Ricky's a second gen man. Gotta respect it. Well, we made it back to the farm here. Still got you beat, Ricky. My truck's nicer. Well, we made it back here. We'll fill up the cedar here in a little bit, but looks like Ricky finally decided to make it out here with his rock picker. He's gonna be boring my skid steer for a couple projects. I was like, hey, if you wanna do something for me, I need this uh, field picked of rocks. And he so happens to have a bunch of equipment that he uses from time to time. I, I don't know why he still keeps it. As well, frankly, he does not do a lot of farming. But he's helping me out today, so we're going to get working on a different field, I guess. I guess Ricky just bought this really cool old tractor. It has a blade on the front of it, so who knows what he's going to use that for. But he's got it hooked up to his rock picker right now, and it seems to be working okay. Eh, Ricky, are, are, you, are you going into the lake, bud? Oh, no, he's backing up. Wasn't sure what was going on there. Well, two passes in this field is pretty much done, except for a little bit. I really question Ricky's rock picking abilities because he seems to be backing up at every point. Not too sure what's going on there. What is this guy doing? Well, there he goes. And look at that equipment he's got. Thing is nuts. Look at the blade on that thing. It's huge. Oh, geez, Ricky. Come on now. Don't run into me. Oh, boy. Coming in hot. All right, Ricky's letting me borrow this thing for a minute. I wanted to try it out here. Hold on. Is this tractor dual motor? It is too. What the heck? Why would you ever need two motors for this thing? What is this supposed to do? I guess run this massive blade, but still, man, come on. All right, so we spent the last 
45 minutes here trying to get all the rocks out of that field. Looks like we've succeeded. We're just going to get this planted, get the cedar filled up again, and then we're off to the next field, which I think there's only one more, and then uh, it's just the rest of the stuff by the house. All right, that's it for that field, and we are pretty much out of seed and liquid fertilizer so we got to get this thing filled up and it's off to the next and this thing's gonna need a wash once we get back to the farm it is looking a little worse for wear at the moment okay so there may be a slight chance i didn't think this through about how to get the seed bags up to the tanks up here and uh the skid steer does not lift high enough so i have an idea i don't know if it's gonna work but we're sure as heck gonna try it yeah okay that's kind of unfortunate i was really hoping that would work I have one more idea though. Sometimes I feel like my own genius scares me and it probably should. Is this safe? Absolutely not. Is it gonna work? I think so. <laughs> this should not work. We flippin' did it though. We flippin' did it. Luckily we do not have to lift the uh, liquid fertilizer that high. So we'll get this in there and it should be a piece of cake. Well, we're going to finish up this field, and then we are out of here. Well, boys, it's been a couple days here. Uh, finally clear skies for once. We pretty much finished up that last field there. I guess we got one more over there, and just a couple small ones right next to the farm here that we have left to finish. But we ended up finishing up that one field. I was furthest away from the farm, and then it started pouring down rain. So we had to quit. Unfortunately, it did not wash off the cedar, which is not great. The uh, contractor guys are just about finished on the uh, grain bin house, which we'll go check out in a little bit here. But for now, I got to get this cleaned up. And then hopefully once it dries up a little bit more, we'll finish off the rest of those fields. But other than that, we're pretty much done seeding here, which is awesome. All right, finally clean and it is looking good. All right, so one thing I wanted to show you guys before we uh, take a look at our new house there. Well, not our new house. This is going to be a separate house. Most likely a guest house or maybe if I get an employee, he can uh, stay there. But we have this little trailer back here. Or trailer house i guess now uh it's pretty worse for wear and i kind of want to get rid of it now that's a little easier said than done so hopefully we can get rid of it by the end of this year if not i'll get rid of it first thing next year but it needs to go it, it's pretty bad inside so that's pretty much the reason why i built a different house instead of uh just kind of revamping this thing it's too far gone other than that with seating almost done here we'll be pulling out the combine pretty quick to get that all ready to go i think we're getting either a new sprayer which we don't really have a sprayer right now so we might be just getting our first sprayer or we're going to be getting it custom done who knows we didn't spray last year and uh that definitely showed in our yields so this year we're definitely going to try to get that done let's go check out our new house here it is looking real fancy but if it weren't for the windows and uh some interesting decorating you wouldn't know this was a house at all walking in here look at this already decorated looking good you got a kitchen you got a living room dining table if you walk upstairs here you got the whole other part here bathroom which is awesome you got a main bedroom here and a guest bedroom with two beds and if you look at the window there's those stinking deer. Hey, get out of here. So yeah, this is pretty much the green bin house. It's nothing too fancy, but uh, it will definitely get the job done. And who knows? Maybe I'll just move in here. I want to get some landscaping done out here. Maybe put in a fire pit area, get a uh, kind of laneway put in all the way from the road back there. Kind of leading up to here. I don't know. I think we could probably do that. Two separate driveways. I mean, we kind of pull out of here anytime we got something really big that we don't want to bring through the front yard. So it'll probably be better off if we just uh, get kind of a road there. So I'll have to see if I can get some gravel put in or brought in, I guess. And we'll spread that around with a skid steer. Do some work there. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at Grandpa's farm, and we're pretty much wrapped up here on seeding. It's almost done. I think we got uh, a couple more small fields left, so we're going to try to finish those today. Anyways, there was an auction a couple days ago, and uh, I may have made an impulsive purchase. That should be showing up here in the next 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to see what that is. Anyway, we got some organizing on the farm to do before the delivery driver gets here. So we better get to work on that. Well, I didn't really think this one through. Can I still grab this bag of seed here? I'm going to try. Oh, I can. Perfect. We'll just set that right here. The irony. I'm wearing a case sweater as I'm driving a John Deere. We'll just get this put away here for now. I'm sure we'll have to use it eventually. But I'm hoping by the end of the week here, after we finish seeding, we can at least get the combine out, get that all set up, ready to go. Oh, I think I hear someone pulling up the road here. Well... This was my dumb purchase of the week. A massive Volvo wheel loader. Like, this thing is huge. Um, anyway, I went to a spring auction and, uh, got in a bidding war with this guy. I didn't pay too, too much for this, but, uh, yeah, I bought a wheel loader. All right, let's get this bad boy unloaded here. Though, so it's got a set of forks and a bucket here, which, uh, should do just about everything we need. Anyways, this thing is, like, ridiculously huge. I have 
absolutely no need for a wheel loader like this but uh you know what when a good deal comes along a good deal comes along there we go man i need a semi like this this thing looks cool and this thing this is just a hunk of junk maybe i need to upgrade Anyways, now I own a massive wheel loader that uh, I have in mind one project for it, and that is about it. And even still, this loader is ridiculously overkill for this project. I want to build a kind of road from this corner all the way to the main road there. So it shouldn't be too hard, but uh, yeah, this thing is still overkill. I'm sure we'll find other uses for it on the farm, though. I hope. I don't know. We're going to find out. At any rate, this should really help when we need to move snow in the winter. There's just a bit of grass here. I'm just going to dump this over there. But I think I'm going to get to uh, trying to rip up some of this grass here with the bucket. And uh, we'll try to get a little trail going to the road here. Well, that took a little while, but I think we got it about as smooth as we can get it here. Got most of the grass ripped out where we needed to be. And we got a uh, truckload of gravel on the way here. So once that arrives, we'll get that spread. Then hopefully we'll have a new road. Anyways, in the meantime here, I figured I'd have a little fun. We're going to try to use this loader to its full potential here. Lifting up seed bags. Yep, that's what I spent a ridiculous amount of money for. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is so overkill. Hold on, can I even lift high enough to get these up here? No way. I don't think I can. All right, hold on, hold on. I gotta, gotta see if I can move this down the fork a bit. There we go. Yeah, let's give that a try. Still, I can't. Well, that's just disappointing. All that money in for what? Well, at the very least, I can pick up a pallet. This thing's useful for something. Well, delivery driver just showed up here with the uh, gravel we needed. Isn't that the same truck that was here before? I swear it is. It is too. Or maybe this company just has the same trucks for everything because I know the same company that delivered my uh, loader here. Maybe they just have a bunch of the same trucks. All right, well, I'm going to tell them where to dump this and then uh, we can get to spreading here. We may have to get another trailer in. I I don't know yet but hopefully one's enough well this is where it got dumped here not the most ideal spot but it should hopefully work just gonna try to spread this out here real nice yeah i'm just gonna call the guy right now and say we're gonna need another load well so far so good here just getting the last of this spread out i'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be needing the uh second truck of gravel here but uh who knows if we do we do if we don't we don't and we just have extra gravel. Well, most of the driveway is done here. Just the last little bit up here. So we'll get that last load of gravel and uh, finish this up. But for now, I think we're going to go out and try finish up the seating here, hopefully. Everything should be filled up and ready to go here. So we'll see if we can finish it today. First use of the new driveway, even though it isn't finished yet. But hopefully it will be soon. You know what? Before we actually seed here... I am just going to take the disc and we're going to disc in all these other parts here that kind of separate these small little fields. We'll just get to put it all into one big field. I mean, why not? Makes things a heck of a lot easier, especially when harvest comes around. Ah, shoot. I forgot. We have to move the combine. Oh, she fires right up, though. I guess while we have it out here, we'll just get it put by the shop and we can get to work on it, making sure it's all good for this year. Well, let's hope the old anteater can uh, pull this disc here. We should be able to get it done, I think. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Well, everything seems to be working good here. I think I'm just going to extend this field a little more into the trees here because we got a good amount of open area here. Most of it's still getting hit by the sunlight, so crop should still do good. So we just got a little strip left right in between the end here, kind of. And then this is all going to be one big field, which will be a lot easier for harvest and seeding and so forth because we're not going to have to move up and down these small little fields. Now we can just go all the way down and all the way back and that should do it well i was gonna say this makes everything so much easier but um i can't make it through the one part there so we're just gonna have to leave that still not the end of the world but i guess we wouldn't really fit the header through there anyway now last year this was corn so it's going into soybeans there's one smaller field in the back and i think we're gonna plant that to soybeans as well but uh our very last field our very last bigger field i guess is also going into you know what we're going to put in wheat. I think we have enough soybeans where we can uh, afford to do a wheat field this year. I was going to plant this into one here, but uh, too many trees in here. So about one pass and this is going to be finished. Well, that'll do it. Anyways, we're on the last field here. We're going to get that finished up and then we'll get back to working on a bunch of other stuff. All right, so I'm out here at the field. We're supposed to be seeding to wheat. Now, um, for some reason, I didn't realize that you can't plant wheat with a planter. I, I don't know how i didn't think about that anyways i think i'm gonna have to go rent a cedar because uh well the plant wheat we're gonna have to have one man i really did not think that through so while we are uh waiting on a cedar here to get delivered from co-op that i rented i uh also went into town 
and rented a stump grinder. There's just a couple things I want to take care of on the farm, so I figured this is the perfect time to do it. There's just a couple stumps that have been bothering me for the longest time, and I just want to get rid of them. Like this one right here. Gotta go. Look at that. Easy. Like nothing. There's also a bit of brush on the trails here we can clean up. And this thing just makes it look like nothing. I should just buy one of these for the farm at this point. All right, that's all looking a lot better now. I can actually pull stuff through there without getting it caught on trees. All right, so the last of the gravel got delivered here. And uh, I guess they went just a little overkill with this. Yeah. I think we have enough here now. Anyways, I'm going to deal with this later. I think uh, co-op just showed up with the cedar here. Well, that should do the trick. It's some European one, but uh, we got it hooked up to the anteater here, get it filled up with seed, and we'll be good to go. All right, well, hopefully I can figure out how to run this thing. Well, we got the forks back on the skid steer here. I'm going to try and load some of the seed up in there. Okay, I hope the skid steer can, at the very least, lift this up enough. You got to be flipping kidding me. All right, back to the case it is. Well, at least this thing works no problem. This uh, may take a minute. Okay, apparently, we need more seed, too. I know at the very least, we're going to need a full tank to uh, get this last field finished here so we'll use whatever we need to okay that's looking pretty full here i think we're gonna need one more bag now that ought to do it well i'm gonna try to get the farm organized here and then uh if i get a chance i'll head out seeding that last field finished up here but the farm is in shambles we need to get this org all organized here because it is not great at the moment Well, boys, it's another day back out here on the farm. We got way too much to do. There's lots of stuff going on today, but there's going to be something new coming to the farm. And, uh, well, hopefully it's going to replace the John Deere, but uh, that's not showing up till later this afternoon. So in the meantime here, we're going to get to work. Anyway, we did end up renting a cedar a little while ago, and uh, we've been meaning to go out and finish our last field. We're going to go do that. And I think this, uh, this grass here is getting tall enough to the point where we might be able to cut it and then hopefully get a second cut out of it later this year. So we're probably going to get to a bit of that. But for now, I think we'll be busy enough with trying to get this seeding finished. All right, last field of the year. Let's get this in the ground. All right, technically speaking, this is not the last field, the second last field, uh, since that one right there is separated. But, you know, you get the idea. Anyways, this shouldn't take too long. The cedar is pretty decently sized. Well, this one's all wrapped up here. On to the next. And we should be good for seed here, I hope. And after we finish this up, we got to take the cedar back to the co-op. And a plethora of other projects have to be done, so we'll be busy. And that is the last of it. Finally done. Let's just rip this thing back here. And I thought I was going to have to wash the International, but uh, it's actually looking pretty clean. So I think we'll be all right. So I just got the cedar back to the co-op there. And uh, I think I'm just going to stop in here at our neighbor's where we store some of our equipment and grab one of our grain carts because we're probably going to need it, well, eventually not anytime soon but eventually will be needed also gonna need a rake there i'll get that later i'm sure we'll be okay for now ah crap i gotta finish the driveway too we'll just get this put right here for now ah bring up a little more the international here is gonna go on to the vermeer haybine and hopefully we get a chance to use that today i don't know We'll find out. I think we're good to go and hang, though, hopefully. So a while ago, we uh, got a bunch of gravel here to finish up a driveway. And it worked out pretty good, but uh, we've got a little extra now, and I don't really know where to put it here. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to dump it right back here. I get some of it moved out of the way at the very least. Oh, boy. Back end's lifting up. I should have told him not to dump so much here because now we have to move all of this. Who knows? Maybe in 20 years, we might have this pile gone. Well, it has taken me about an hour here, but uh, we got most of the gravel moved to back there. I think I'm going to try finish off this road here and maybe put a little bit out front of uh, our grain bin house here because why not? Well, maybe I should have mowed the grass here, but... Oh, well. Well, we're pretty much finished here. Just need to uh, smooth everything out a little bit, and I think we'll be good. We're pretty close to it, at least. Got a little bit of a uh, trail laid down here, but uh, I need to clear out some grass, so this is probably going to be coming out of here anyway. Well, I think that'll about do it. We got this all nice and cleaned up now. I'm actually going to go hop in the John Deere, and we're going to get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Is this going away? We got a new tractor coming today, and I think it won't be here for a little while yet but uh i want to get this all good to go at the very least all right i think this is about as good as it's gonna get it's all shined up now looking a bit cleaner should be able to stay parked here for now we're getting the loader taken off the uh 8950 here because we're gonna head over to the neighbors there grab some more hanging equipment and then i think we're gonna get to cutting here looks good enough to go now okay let's see if we can actually get this out of here this might be a bit of a challenge and i think we got it perfect quick grease and this thing should be good to go so we're just pulling into the neighbor's yard here we were supposed to cut their hay field last year but uh we got a little wrapped up at our own hanging and didn't really have a lot of time so this year we're getting a jump 
jump on it and gonna try cut it here first we're doing this more in exchange for uh the storage of our equipment over the winter so we're gonna try get this done here it really shouldn't take us too long we're just gonna cut the back here behind the shop may as well a little extra bales never hurt nobody and with the big attractor this year this vermeer just rips last year was a little slower because we had it on the uh smaller john deere but this year i think we're pretty much set heck this is so thick already i think we'll definitely get a second cut off of it easy especially if we get enough rain don't mind me here just cutting your front lawn yeah, unless they got a mow i guess if we can, we'll try break this up today and then just let it dry out, and then we should be able to bale it, so long as we don't get any rain, because if we get rain, then we are screwed on bailing for a little while. And that is the last of it for here. Anyways, we still got a lot more land to cut. We've got all behind there by the uh, old moonshine barn of Grandpa's back there. We've got all of the house land, and we mostly cut around the farm a lot. Because frankly, there's a lot of open space, so can't let it go to waste, I guess. But that's for another day, because... If we get too much cut and it rains, it's just not a good time. Just got to fuel up the old case here before we head out. Man, this thing is going to need a wash when we get back. Check it out using our new driveway. This comes in handy, actually. I mean, we pretty much just went out that way anyway, and there was no driveway there, so better now that we have it, I guess. We're going to have a swath of hay here just put right in their driveway, but I'm sure they don't mind. Got to watch the edge of this. Can't be hitting no fence. That'd be a bad day for the rake and the fence and my wallet. Well, that about does it. Everything's raked up. I think we're good to go to let this dry out. And then uh, we'll come back at a later date. Get it all bailed up. They do have a swath going right through the driveway, but uh, eh, it'll be all right. Problem for later. I'm pretty sure as I was finishing up the hayfield there, I saw something pull into my yard. So better go investigate. Holy smokes, it's here. All right, let me go park the case here real quick. Oh, I need to bath. Yeah, I'll do that later. Yeah, look at this. Just a bit of an upgrade here to our old four-wheel drive. Now, uh, this is a Big Bud tractor. Some of you may or may not recognize this. Uh, it's one of Big Bud's smaller models, but it's still an absolutely massive tractor. Anyway, nothing really close to the biggest tractor in the world, but uh, I think it'll still do the job. We're going to get this unloaded here real quick, and we're going to load up the old John Deere. Now, I found that tractor a while back. The guy didn't really want to get rid of it, but we ended up working out a deal where it was a partial trade this with a lot of cash on top for uh for the rest of it so the old 8850 is uh getting sent away we needed something bigger for our planter anyway and i figured this would be the perfect upgrade because i really didn't want to go with anything too too new or too too old and i figured this would be the perfect deal plus this thing has an absolute wrap load of power oh man i can't wait to get this thing out in the fields it's gonna be sick look how much bigger it is compared to the uh other john deere here i guess the john deere has bigger wheels but you can just see how much more beefy this thing is but man this is gonna be quite the sweet rig to get out into the field and when you get an opportunity to buy a big bud you, you don't pass that up all right well the transporter is getting everything strapped down here i gotta take a better look at this thing now grandpa always wanted a big bud tractor but uh unfortunately really hard to come by and if you do come by them usually they're like beat to crap because they were workhorses that's what they were built for they're built to be used some way somehow i managed to find one that's not beat to crap look at the interior on this it's like a spaceship not really because it, it's pretty old but like back in the day this thing was a spaceship all the different dials all the switches ridiculous might have to eventually get some bigger wheels and tires on this but for now i'm sure these will do just fine this thing is actually going to be quite the rig being hooked up to the grain cart here oh yeah check that out and hopefully this thing should run the planter just a little bit better than the other john deere there because it did run it it was just a little small but now i think we got something that'll run just about anything we needed to 8950 here needs a wash can't put this stuff away dirty i was just thinking i'm not sure if i have a bale spear for my uh skid steer i know i had one for the old one but not sure if i sold it with that skid steer or not i'm gonna have to go look around because if i don't have one i'll have to go buy one there that's all clean now anyways where the heck's my bale spear at i have a set of forks here uh this is for the three-point hitch where is my bale spear is it in the shop nope okay i guess i'm gonna have to go buy one unless it got set somewhere else but i can't find it anywhere around here yeah nada no idea where it could have went i was thinking i might get a bale spear for my loader too may as well i mean that thing could probably carry like three or four bales easily so i might just have to go get one for that as well
Well, boys, it's another early morning out here on Grandpa's farm. Now, the forecast is looking really, really good. Clear skies for the next week here. No rain, no nothing. So I figured it'd be the perfect week to get some spraying done. So I rented a sprayer from the local co-op along with a semi and uh, spray trailer. So this will mix all our spray up along with water. And we load it into the sprayer and put that onto the field. Now, we've got uh, quite a few fields to spray here. So uh, it's going to be a busy day. Along with that, we're going to be picking up something new a little bit later this afternoon. And uh, it's along the lines of a farm utility vehicle kind of like this now i love this quad but uh you know it doesn't hurt to have something else anyway we've already got the sprayer filled up here all ready to go with everything we're gonna need and then uh the tanks are all set to go or when we need a refill so this should go pretty smoothly i hope this sprayer might be a tad bit too big for some of our fields but for most of them it should work we'll try to get as much as we can done and a couple days ago we did cut all of this out front here to be bailed up so we got to rake all that and then hopefully we can get it bailed today so there's literally so much to do i don't know if we're all gonna get it done but we'll try our best i will say it has been a while since i've operated a uh, sprayer let alone pull behind sprayer i'm gonna try my best here and the dude from the co-op already set it to the uh right ratio or whatever i'm uh, spraying onto the crop here i believe it's herbicide to uh get rid of all the weeds here so I, I believe he said it's all the right ratios hopefully we're okay and this is a brand of sprayer i've never seen before it looks almost like a john deere sprayer but it's like a, a best Best way sprayer? No idea. Never seen the brand before, but it seems to be working good. Anyways, we're going to try to get the beans all sprayed here, and then I think we got a couple other crops like the oats. But with a sprayer this big, it shouldn't take too long. And we've also got all that hay ground to cut. I do want to check into that barn at some point this year and maybe tear it down or maybe rebuild it. I'm not too sure yet. Let me know down in the comments what I should do with it, but it's Grandpa's old moonshining barn. He used to uh, run moonshine out of there, which is kind of surprising. But I guess the time that he was doing it in, it was pretty dang common. At any rate, I'm not too sure what i should do with it so i'll let you guys decide just a little bit left up here at the top of the field and we are done this one i also have to go pick up some of the bales off of uh this field over here but there's only three so it shouldn't take too long well these are the wheat fields over here and uh they are definitely loaded with weeds and need some herbicide here so we'll get that on here asap all right that is the wheat fields done we are just about empty here so i'm gonna run back to the farm fill this thing up and i think we got a couple more fields to spray around the farm and then we're gonna leave the rest till a bit later because they're not quite ready to go yet ah crap the fill points on the other side i gotta whip this thing around part of me thought it'd be really cool to run this on the big bud but uh that'd just be overkill and uh well it's got dually tires so more compaction on the crop that's never good all right pumps fired up here just filling up the sprayer all right back off to the field we go and this next one lucky for us is right next to the farm not a whole lot of visible weeds on this one but still needs to be sprayed here man i really need to plow these fields all together make things so much easier next year so all three of these fields are soybeans but the field up here i believe is a ground and all that back there so that's gonna have to get cut at some point also i'm aware i'm not turning off the spray going across those little grass patches it's easier than flipping around at every end i think i can stand to waste the tiniest little bit of spray all right one more field in the back and we're good to go. If I can squeeze in between here. Yeah, we're good. I got to move this semi at some point. Now, this right here was the spot I was most worried about how big this sprayer was, but I think we'll be okay. Hopefully, as long as I watch the booms on those tree rows there, we shouldn't have any issues. I'm not entirely sure if this thing has breakaway booms, which if you don't know what breakaway booms are, it's uh, if you hit something with the boom of the sprayer there, it essentially, well, breaks away and well, prevents the entire boom from just getting folded in half. Oh, we got deer in the field. All right, we're good to go. So I've got the sprayer for the rest of the week here from co-op and uh, we'll finish up the rest of the spraying a little bit later. For now, we got more work to do. I'm gonna slap the same old case on this uh, rake here and hopefully get this all raked up. Shouldn't take too long. You always miss a bit in the tight spots, but it is what it is. Now, normally you wouldn't try rake those super tight corners because the pull behind balers couldn't handle something like that. But since we literally have a zero turn for a baler, I think we're all right. Son of a gun, I always knock over that stinking sign. I really just need to take that down. So in case you're ever wondering, Austin, how come it seems like you never ever get any work done on the farm? It's because I do crap like this. Yeah, I raked this entire patch into one swath and for one particular reason i wanted to see the true capabilities of the self-propelled vermeer baler so we're gonna test that at some point today will it go well i couldn't tell you anyways for now 
I'm gonna finish off the rake in here and we're gonna go pick up some bales. Alrighty, got that finished for now. We've still got lots to do. There's still a couple more fields left to cut, rake and bales. So this will be an ongoing task for the next little while. But for the day, we're at least kind of finished with that part. Ah, uh, never mind. Crap, I forgot. There's all this in the back. Yeah, we'll do that later. Anyways, I figured I'd use my loader for once here and go grab some of the bales that we uh, did last week there. I haven't really used this thing for too much, so may as well do something with it at the very least. I do have to get a bale fork for this thing, though, at some point. For now, I'm pretty sure the regular forks will work. Well, this actually kind of works not half bad. The loader can easily handle these bigger bales versus the tractor, so that's a plus. Probably should have used the GMC with the bale bed there, but oh well. We'll use it next time. All right. I'm not entirely sure if the loader will fit. Oh, yeah, it'll fit in here. Thought it wouldn't for a minute, but we're plenty good. As far as I know, the horses that we're keeping here are still doing good. I'll go check on them in a little bit. I got to put some water in their trough probably. So that's another task for later, though. All right. There's one bale. I'm pretty sure there's another bale back here. All right. Let's just get these bad boys set in here. Nice and easy. There we go. All right, so I just got a call back from the owner who has the uh, all-terrain farm vehicle that we're supposed to go look at. Now, I'm not calling it a quad because, frankly, I don't know if it can be classified as one. But we're going to get the Cummins hooked up to the trailer there, head out there, and uh, take a look at it. I think we're going to buy it, but I got to look at it first at the very least. Well, boys, do I got the haul of a freaking century here. And yeah, if you couldn't tell, I bought what we went to go look at. So let me uh, give you a little explanation to uh, what exactly is going on here. So this is a John Deere ATV, aka like a Bombardier or a John Deere Buck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these things weren't produced for too long. That's probably why you've never seen one. Or if you have, I would be surprised. This is a 2005 model. It was basically unused. Like this thing is flipping mint for how old it is. Garage kept like the plastics are still shiny for a 2005 ATV. That's pretty dang good. And I think they only made these things for like two and a half, maybe three years at most. And they didn't even produce that many as far as I'm aware. So they're pretty dang rare like extremely rare, especially in good condition. So along with that, I got a trailer, pull behind mower, and some kind of a rake or something. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, got this all for $1,500. That's right, 1500 bucks. What a steal. Anyway, I'm gonna get this all unstrapped here and, uh, We'll get it off the trailer. Now, surprisingly enough, this quad actually runs. Now, uh, as far as I'm aware, the Bombardiers are notorious for running extremely rough. Now, amazingly enough, growing up on the farm when I was younger, we actually had one of these in real life, and it ran horribly. Like, it was bad. It ran so bad, I think I, I rode it for a total of, like, maybe three times. It was awful. Anyways, with the uh, couple implements here, I think we're going to try them out around here. I don't know how well they're going to work. Honestly, they're probably going to be terrible, but you know what? I figured for the price we paid... What could go wrong? Now, that trailer right there, I actually want to use that for something. I'm going to go grab my skid steer and uh, we'll see what we can do with this. So I had this water tank here in the back of my 6x6 ATV and it did not work well at all. Like it did work, but it was really hard on the suspension and just not a good time. So we're sticking this thing on the trailer here and hopefully it works just a little bit better. The trailer's even paint matched with the quad. That's actually kind of cool. This was literally the only use for the trailer I could think of because it's too small to really haul anything on other than maybe some little stuff around the farm. Throw a strap on that. There we go. And this should work perfect. All right, I got it all filled up with water here. So we're going to go give some to the horses real quick. It seems to be towing this actually not half bad. Maybe it can make it up this. Oh, yeah. We're good easy a lot better than the six by six for uh all around this water tank back this up here real quick give the horses some water okay they should be good now i'm just gonna leave this trailer out here it should be okay and we don't really need it for anything else so what needs to be filled up we'll just hook it onto the quad and go fill it up with water and then stick it back out there so i wanted to give this mower a little try here real quick i frankly neglected the uh lawn around the house for ever now so this should work perfect just around here since I don't have a zero turn or anything and the closest thing I have that could cut this would probably be the really old sickle blade mower in the garage there because the uh, hay bond can't get anywhere near this yeah I mean it does work not the greatest for close corners but it is what it is probably need to sharpen up the blades here eventually okay so house grass is cut I probably should have moved the baler but I was feeling a little too lazy for that now this rake here should rake up all the grass clippings too let's see here Oh yeah, look at that. That's not half bad. Isn't the best thing, but it does get the job done. This quad's actually pretty dang silent. If it wasn't a 2005 model, you'd probably think it's electric almost. Anyways, let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever seen a John Deere quad, because I'm kind of curious how many people have actually seen one. Well, this should help with cleaning up some stuff around the house. Other than that, it's just kind of a 
cool thing to have, I guess. I can say I have a John Deere quad. Probably not many people can say that. All right, time to get back to some actual work here. I want to see how much this Vermeer Baylor can handle. And if it can handle this big swath here, I'll actually be genuinely surprised. Lower that down, fire it up. Let's see what it can do. My guess is this thing will get full before we even get halfway through the swath. Yeah, we're already full. <laughs> Not a surprise there. We'll probably get quite a few bales out of this one swath here. But this thing seems to be working as long as we go decently slow. Not like in this massive swath drive over. But other than that, the baler seems to be handling it. Kind of. Yep. Another bale already. And we may get another half out of this. Yeah, not even. All right. So not half bad, actually. Well, we've got a lot more baling to do and uh, a little bit more raking. Shouldn't be too much. <laughs> Well, boys, it's another day back out here at Grandpa's farm, and today we're in a rush. A big one, because our wheat's ready to go, and I don't have anything that we need to harvest ready to go to head out to the field, so uh, we better get to work on that. Now, first things first, of course, we gotta get our header trailer out of storage there. We'll see if the old John Deere uh, buck can pull it out. All right, it's hooked up, and we're definitely spinning, but we are pulling it, surprisingly enough. Well, shoot, I didn't think we'd get that out of there, but we did. So, on top of harvest, we've also got a lot of haying to do. We've got baling. It's going to be a crazy busy day. I'm actually just going to pull the header trailer out here. That way, it's easier to hook it up to the combine. I think we may have the combine serviced already. I'm just going to check it over real quick, get it all filled up with diesel, and then we should be okay to go. All right, I just looked everything over. Looks like we did service it, which is nice. Okay, I'm just going to keep this parked here for now. I got to clean up these bales that are out here still. This side of the way, put it back to where it was. So we're just in the work truck right now, heading out to a neighbor of mine's place. We're going to do the same thing as last year and grab one of his augers so uh, we can fill up one of our main bins. With the auger he's got, it just works a little nicer for uh, trailers we have. Okay, auger secured. Let's uh, get this thing back to the farm and try not to hit any power lines or trees. Best to avoid those things. Not terribly great for the auger. Okay, so, well, we may not need this auger right at this moment because we're not putting any of the wheat into the big bin. We're going to need it fairly soon, especially once the soybeans get ready to harvest. So it's better to have it on hand when we actually need it. So a buddy of mine down the road lent me this small John Deere 3046R to uh, plow up the arena with. But today we're going to try use it to power one of our augers. I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. He did mention to me a little while back that he wanted to sell this, so I might just buy it off of him instead. But for now, we're going to attempt to use it as an auger tractor. Probably doesn't even have close to the horsepower it needs, but for the shot. All right, yeah, this thing ain't going to work. It doesn't even have the right splines on the PTO shaft. So I've got a plan B. I don't want to use any of my big tractors. This is my plan B. Technically speaking, it has enough horsepower, even though it's barely bigger than the quad, but it does have enough horsepower. So we're going to give it a try. Okay, we're positioned. And again, I did check the uh, horsepower requirements. It should work. Now, should and will is two different things, but I'm curious to see. All right, so it took a quick battery boost, but the semi is now alive. So the field that we're going to go harvest here is pretty dang small. So I'm thinking we're not even going to need the grain cart for this. I had to move the big butt out of the way. Just taking up this road. Okay, so we're going to get this thing out into the field, which is right there. And uh, just run back and grab my combine. Oh, I'm out of shape. Need to lighten up that lunch bag for the tractor. All right, first field of the year. Let's see how this goes. So right now we've got the uh, straw on right now. Because we're going to make some straw bales later. Got to try and maximize that profit. All right, so we filled up here. This field is yielding crazy, crazy good. At any rate, I was looking at Facebook Marketplace while I was, uh, you know, harvesting because these things pretty much run themselves nowadays. And uh, I found something pretty cool that I didn't even know John Deere made. So uh, we're going to finish off these fields, get some more work done. And then hopefully this afternoon, we're going to go take a look at something pretty interesting. All right. So we're just about finished up here with the last field of the wheat. I just got to go unload again. Now, the only reason why I did the wheat is because we needed straw. So uh, this makes things a little bit easier than trying to buy it since I already have all the equipment to do it. So planting two smaller fields with wheat in a way it's a lot better. Alrighty, we're all finished up here with the wheat. We did manage to fit everything in the truck, which was nice. So uh, we'll get the combine back to the yard and then we'll get the truck back. So I'm thinking since the soybeans should be ready in due time here, I'm just going to keep all the uh, harvesting equipment out here. That way it's a lot easier to get out of the yard when we need to go. Okay, so we got the semi and the uh, grain trailer back to the yard here. I got to try back this in over the auger. That might be a little bit difficult, but we're going to try our best. Well, that's a quite a bit of moving around, but we finally got it. Now, if we fire this thing up, the 
pizza running and we should be good to go all right so we got all the weed emptied out there uh this little kubota actually surprised me it ran this auger decently we had to slow down the uh flow out of the trailer just a little bit so it could handle it with no problem but it ran pretty good anyways we're gonna get this moved out of the way and then go work on the other million projects that we have so we've got these bales out front here and I really got to move them. They're not in the way of the uh, harvesting equipment. We're just going to use our fancy little bale bed here. There we go. Easy as that. Perfect. Let's go run these things out to the horses real quick, or at least the horse barn, because they've got plenty of grass still. Just drop them off. So the other one here, I don't feel very much like uh, using the forks on the bed. So we're just going to there we go look at that easy so a little while back i bought this mower for the yard it doesn't work terribly great i probably need to buy another one which is actually something we might go look at it's not the main thing but uh it's one of the things we might go look at this afternoon anyway i'm trying to clean up all the grass clippings from the front of the yard because there were so many but we've also got all of this out here to bale still i'm not entirely sure how many bales are going to come from this but I guess we'll find out well crap that did not unload in the best place all right we just finished off this little chunk here the last bale and that's it for now until we of course cut more inevitably because we have a lot more to do at any rate this thing needs some diesel we're running low son of a gun i put it to the wrong side all right so uh we've got the cummins here we're about to grab a trailer and go and hopefully buy something else I know I've been on a kick of buying stuff, but, uh, you know, Facebook marketplace is a uh, fun little hobby to, you know, go and spend your money on. Ah, uh, yes. Money well spent on more John Deere <laughs> random things that I didn't know they made. Son of a gun. I forgot. I, uh, accidentally put that bale on the road. I got to go move that and have a car hitting that thing. There we go. Oh, oh, stick it on the forks. There we go. So in this week's segment of uh, random crap I find on Facebook Marketplace, I found a mower and some sort of a six-wheeled or five-wheeled trike I didn't know John Deere made. I know they made uh, this mower back in the day, but this I, I honestly had no idea about. I didn't even know this thing existed. It's like a cross between a gator and a trike. It's really, really weird. But I got myself a nice little vintage mower for the yard, which uh, I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try it out. Now... Both these things do run. <laughs> this is really weird. Like, just look at this thing. Like, what? <laughs> I don't even know what the heck is going on here. So it's got this tilt bed, which is kind of nice. It is four-wheel drive. Because, you know, four wheels in the back. The one in the front is not a uh, drive wheel. But it's got the floater tires, so it should be able to cruise through just about anything. And, I mean, it's the coolest little work vehicle. I can see why uh, the guy I bought it from got a lot of calls on it. But, uh, luckily, I got to it first. Anyway, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this. I mean, at this point, I'm just collecting random John Deere stuff. But if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. But yeah, I guess John Deere made something like this. I, I did not know they did. Okay, so this super, super tiny, tiny little mower. Like, this thing is ridiculously small. And it does work. Like, <laughs> it mows next to nothing, but it does work. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. Hold up, let me go mow an entire field for hay with this thing. <laughs> I mean, it'll get into all the nice small places, which is kind of cool. But uh, other than that, there is not a whole lot you can do with this thing. It seems to cut through the thick grass half decently. I mean, it wasn't a complete waste of money. Just a little bit. All right. Well, that's enough mowing at a couple inches of pass. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe I'll just keep it parked in the shop. It's kind of something cool to have. Hold on. I've got to see something real quick. It works. Look at that. We can fit the mower in the back. Oh, that's hilarious. This thing is, that's just dumb. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on Grandpa's farm, and uh, something is leaving today. And as some of you may or may not know, uh, one thing I love doing on the farm is getting new equipment. So the thing that's going to be leaving today is my wheel loader. Now, uh, I bought this thing a while back at an auction. Got a really good deal on it, actually, but, uh, you know, it just hasn't really served enough purpose on the farm to uh, weren't keeping around. And uh, I got a trade offer or something I couldn't turn down. So a truck will be coming later today to uh, pick this thing up and then drop off one of our new tractors. So that should be pretty cool. You know what else is really cool? The animation when you hit the like button. You should try it out. Anyways, first thing on the board for today is uh, our soybeans are ready to go. There's a couple little green spots right here, but I think they'll be okay. Anyways, soybeans are good to go. We've got pretty much all the harvesting equipment ready to go. So uh, may as well get on it. Ah, shoot. I don't know if I'm going to need the grain cart. Now that field's pretty long down that way i should probably grab the grain cart anyway we'll use the old anteater why not this thing probably should handle a grain cart pretty good i don't know i haven't really tried it out before ah oh, man i'm committing some kind of a crime here red tractor on a green grain cart all right common mines up and going here we got this thing serviced i think 
last night so don't got anything to worry about there now we did end up spraying these soybeans so we should be getting a pretty good yield out of them i hope i guess we'll just have to wait and see i don't have enough uh grain in the tank to get an info yet but uh we'll see well, everything's looking pretty good here so far. It's like we're yielding really nice, actually. Probably the best yield we've taken off this field yet. So there's this part in the field here where for some reason, there's just this middle strip. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be tiling or something, but I'll look it over. And if it's good this fall, I'll just take the ripper and just rip this all into one chunk because frankly, this is really annoying to have in the field. On second thought though, I probably did not need the uh, grain cart, but I guess it's better to have than not to have it all. All right, so I've about made it all the way around the field once and did some cleanup work on some of the other spots here, but I think we're about ready to dump. Yeah, screw it. I'll just put it in the grain cart for now. And yeah, this may take a while. All right, back to harvesting. Sheesh, this thing's dirty now. Gonna need a good wash. Okay, so we're just about finished this field here, and the grain cart's pretty much full. I guess I probably should have just dumped it in the semi, but... Oh, well, I'm hoping this new tractor shows up here pretty soon. It should be. I've also got to do some stuff with the horses there, so we'll be busy for quite a while here. So the grain cart's full here. There's still some left in the combine. I think our other soybean field is just about ready to go, so uh, we'll just leave it in here for now. Well, the semi just pulled in the yard here, and it's got our brand new, well, new to us tractor. Look at that. That's right. It's, uh, it's a new Holland. Never thought I'd be buying one of those. Okay, so the loader is going to get loaded onto this after we unload this. So this thing also has a bale spear that we can use with it, which should come in handy, I hope. So this thing is a New Holland TV 6070, and it's a bi-directional tractor. So you're supposed to be able to swap this seat from here all the way to here. So you can use the tractor either way, but we're probably gonna keep it like this because we got the front end loader on it, and that's probably what we're gonna use the most. All right, perfect, everything's loaded up. We'll get this thing out of here and we'll get back to work. Okay, so there's a bale spear in the bucket. We'll just get this dumped out. Oh, crap. That's... Oh, never mind. It flipped over the right way. And we'll just set this over here. And bale spear on. Perfect. We just got a couple bales here that I want to try to get picked up and kind of moved out of the way. If we can. I'm just going to get them stacked up over here for now. All right. Bales moved. On to the next thing. So my biggest hope with this tractor was to be able to uh, do some mowing with it since it's kind of got the better three-point hitch stuff. And it's a little bit nicer. So I think this should work good. Now, uh, we have a little cut back here we got to do for sure. It's regrown enough to the point where we should probably do it if we want a second cut. Now, uh, last time we were here, we cut everything around my neighbor's house. But uh, I think this time we're just going to cut the field. Oh, man, this thing cruises so much easier with this tractor. We can swing this Vermeer mower around so much easier. Another thing done. So I figured while I got the mower on here right now, we've got this little part in the back side of my property that uh, I've been meaning to mow for a while and just haven't but uh now that we got the time may as well we've also got this new grass here that we planted not too long ago and uh it's looking a lot better than the old stuff i should have just done this entire back part though but oh well oh look there's my buddy's cabin right there clean that out over the winter got a bunch of trees out of there it's looking good and that will do it okay i think that's all we have to get mowed for now i should probably go deal with the horses though their uh pasture is getting a little low on grass so i think we're gonna stick a bale in there but we gotta go pick up a bale feeder first. Never mind. There's always one small field you forget. There we go. That should do it now. I hope. That actually didn't take too long. This thing flies with this new New Holland on it. All right, so the hang should be good for a little while now. We just got to wait for everything to dry up so we can rake it all. But uh, we're going to take the Cummins and the flatbed trailer here and go and run out and pick up a uh, new round bale feeder for the horses so they can have some hay. And I think we're also going to grab a new water trough. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it all fits on this trailer. No cap. Oh, stop. There we go. Stuff secured. Let's get this back and get it in the horse pen. Okay, so we just made it back here. I am going to need to grab the skid steer because we're going to need to get all this stuff off the trailer. There we go. This is what we're going to need. Can't quite pick it up like this, so we're just going to... Yeah. Oh, oh, don't tip. Okay, that'll work. So, feeders put in here. We're just going to grab a bale, stick it in there. I hope this bale fits. These are really big bales. Okay, so it just barely does not want to fit. We're kind of just pushing the feeder. It should fit. Almost. Let me just push it up against the tree here and it should go. Ah, oh, it's so close. It's going in there by force. Holy smokes, we got it. Okay, one thing done. Now we got to go grab the uh, new water trough. Don't you dare slide off. That's it. Oh, don't. Uh, uh, okay, it slid off. Now I think we got it. Okay, let me just scooch that over there. All right, perfect. We'll uh, get the water tank moved over there, and, and these guys should have some uh, 
new places to drink from. These troughs work okay, but not the greatest. Okay, that should be good, I think. Horses should be nice and happy now. We're just gonna go tilt the arena quick. They got food, water. There's more grass around the past. There's not a whole lot, but uh, we did put a bale in there just so they didn't really eat it all up. I absolutely love doing this job. It's like the most relaxing thing ever. I should probably spray this all so there's not any more weeds because this is kind of annoying. For now, I think it'll be okay. There's a bit around the edges that I didn't really get to, but hey, I never said I was a pro. I just don't want to smack a fence post with this thing if I can help it. All right, glad that's done. Let's go do something else. I'm just trying to get the farmyard a little more organized here. We've got stuff literally everywhere, and if I want to bring a semi in the yard, it's a big pain. Eventually, after harvest, we can start putting a lot of that equipment away because it will not be needed. And I gotta mow the yard. Grass is getting a bit tall around here. Okay, so since we're gonna try to get some of these soybeans in the bin here, I'm just moving over one of the big augers. We can hopefully get this done. This has got to go up a lot more. And these self-propelled augers are the best thing ever. So much easier. Empty the good old grain cart into here. That way it can actually go in the bin. I could try put this in the bin with the grain cart. But I feel like up to the auger, that would not go very well. Just filling up the second part here. This should fill the trailer completely. Okay, let's get this thing into the bin and have it sitting out here. There's a cover for this, but uh, eh, I prefer if it's in the bin. Let's just swing that into there. All right, we're moving grain. Easy. Yeah, shoot, this thing's looking a little low on fuel. I don't even think I have a slip tank in the back of my truck that I could uh, fill that thing up with. Am I going to have to pull that thing all the way over to the uh, diesel tank? Oh, nope. Never mind. I do have one. I guess I could always use a gas can, but... That's never fun. This side should be just finishing right about now. Perfect. Move it over to the next. I should really buy one of these augers. I keep renting it off the neighbor, but that's costing me a fortune. But I need something that's pretty much this big to get up to this bin. But I'm thinking the plan for next year is we're going to tear this old mobile home out and make it a whole bin site back here. That's kind of the goal. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on Grandpa's farm, and today we got the back side of the farm. The soybeans are ready to go. So we're going to get started on that, as well as a crap ton of hay we cut last week. That all has to be raked and baled, and of course, a bunch of other stuff, so it's going to be a busy week. Anyways, first order of business here is I've got to get the combine cleaned up somewhat. I know we're going right back out into the field with it, but it is bad. Like, yeah, I, I shouldn't have let it get this bad, but... We're gonna give it a quick wash off here just to make it a little bit better hopefully and then we got to try get it out to the back field now it did end up raining but i think we're still good to go on the field just hopefully this thing does not sink in any mud because that would not be ideal all right we got it up to the shop here let's give this thing a quick wash i'm gonna have to get out the header trailer because there's no way in heck we're getting past this yeah that's just not happening oh man this thing is filthy now we'll get it washed up quick service it'll be back out in the field well that took a bit of maneuvering but i think oh nope don't got it quite yet I'm gonna say i think we got it dang it it keeps catching on something i think it's that back part there there we go now we got it now if it was not enough to get a header through the yard try getting a header trailer through the yard now that sucks okay good to go i don't know if the quad's gonna be able to pull this but we'll give it a shot oh it's spinning oh but we got it dang that's surprising actually i don't think there was any chance this thing would pull this all right whip this around Good thing this has a sharp turning radius or i'd be screwed and that'll do it back on the combine here get a trailer pulled out of the way and let's roll gonna make some money off of these soybeans they look pretty good so they should sell for a lot in the elevator so we got three fields back here they're all kind of partioned off a little bit i don't like that they're like that but who knows maybe next year i'll get them all plowed into one then the very back field all the way behind those other two is a hay field and that has to get raked along with that one right there but this year has entirely been a massive rush just to get everything done we got to deal with all the hay all the crops my addiction to facebook marketplace yeah it's it's uh it's a lot of fun okay first headland this should give us some room to kind of turn around and actually maneuver this beast through here everything seems to be yielding good which is uh awesome good to see means i hopefully won't go bankrupt this winter you know what after looking at this field further i could have just took the combine in the back oh well i guess i'll know that for next year well that's one field done we're about Ah, eh, halfway full, something like that. We'll just go right on to the second one here. We may... Ah, I think we'll need to dump at least once. Well, I might try bring the semi around back if I can. All right, we're pretty much full. Let's go grab a semi. Let's see if this old hunk of junk will even start. Usually the battery's dead in it half the time. But I have hope. Nothing. It's dead. Dang it. All right, let's go grab uh, something to boost this with. What do I boost it with even? I guess a truck? We got the second gen here. This should do it. All right, we'll get some battery cables hooked up. And this should start it. Hopefully. There it goes. 
We got her. Yeah, I could have just brought the combine just up around the back here. I would have made things a lot easier. Oh, well. You live, you learn, I guess. Just pull her right under this. And she's starting to fill up. Perfect. Man, does this unload take forever on this combine. Look at it. It's already filthy again. I'm going to have to wash it for a second time. Got to pull forward a bit here. And that should be the last bit. Just on this last field back here, it's like two and a half passes and we're done. One advantage of having a big combine, though. And that is it. That is all. Let's go dump this off in the truck. And get this combine back to the yard. Well, I guess we're done until the rest of the fields are ready to go. But that shouldn't be too long, hopefully. I'm just going to keep the combine parked back here for now. It don't need to go in the yard yet. Okay. Next thing, we gotta go rake some hay here. We can get that all bailed up so it doesn't get rained on. It already got rained on just a little bit, but it's pretty warm out, so hopefully it gets nice and dried out. So I'm pretty much done this field here. I'm just running around the outside, getting it all cleaned up. Then we got that big chunk in the back to do, which that should be a blast. Can't forget about this semi back here. I'll have to move it back when I get a chance. And I got a tarp it too. Can't have the soybeans getting wet. The old case seems to be running good though. Better than that uh, old John Deere with no air conditioning. That was not fun trying to do hay with. And just like that, we're done. This Vermeer rake still got to be one of my favorite rakes to use. Never mind, I forgot. There's always one, one that you forget. This one ain't going to take long though. But as soon as this is finished, we'll get the uh, rake all washed up. And since we really don't have any more uses for it this year, we'll get it put away. So at the moment here, I'm just getting all the uh, hay equipment cleaned off. Now we were going to cut and bale the uh, the field kind of by grandpa's old moonshine barn there. But uh, it's just getting a little too late in the year to do another cut. So if we want to keep it good for next year, we'll probably just leave it. We should have plenty enough bales though. And we're not too, too bad on cash. As long as I quit spending. We'll just get this sucker backed in here. Shouldn't be too hard. I've done it a couple times. And good. Just got to go grab the mower now. That's a little more challenging to back in there. So I heard through the grapevine that uh, the demolition derby around here is coming up. I guess there's an annual demolition derby. A bunch of the farmers get together and, uh, you know, have a demolition derby. And I know this one dude with a demolition derby car sitting in the back of his property that uh, hasn't been touched, been abandoned for a long time. I think I'm gonna give him a call here and see if I can maybe go buy it off of him because I wouldn't mind participating this year. I think it'd be kind of cool. And good, perfect. All the hang equipment is put away. Well, other than the baler, I guess. We still need a lot of work to be done with that thing. Okay, so I made a call to the guy there and uh, he's interested in getting rid of it. So we're going to grab the tilt deck here, head on down to his place and see if we can get it out of the bush. And then with a little bit of work, I might have myself a demolition derby car. Okay, I'm pretty sure the turn off to the place is right here. He said just go on back. It's kind of by the shop back there. So we'll see if we can find it. Um, by the shop. That is towards the back here. Oh, bright orange. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. All right, so take a look at this thing real quick. Oh, dang, it's done up in the General Lee style. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. So yeah, I guess uh, he built this a while back. Was going to put it in a demolition derby, and he didn't. It has this crazy motor in it. Of course, weight reduction, because, you know, got to go faster. But yeah, let's, let's see if we can get this thing loaded up and get it back to the farm and see if we can get it running. All right, we got it on here. Just tilt the deck back. There we go. Throw a strap or two on it so it don't roll off the trailer. I'll pull up to the house, give him some cash for it, and we'll get it back to the farm. Oh, man, who loaded this car up? It's all crooked. Man, whoever did that probably be fired. Okay, we made it back here. Let's see if we can get this thing into the shop now. Shouldn't be too bad. So, I've been working on this thing for about uh, two hours so far here, and I think it's ready for a startup. The inside actually doesn't look too bad for it sitting outside for so long, but uh, you know what? Let's see if she runs. That was close. Almost. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Running. It's good to go. Let's see if she drives. Oh, man. This thing runs off some premium fuel here, so got some kick to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing's going to go. All right. Let's just take it out in the field where we're not going to wreck anything. Yes, sir. We got ourselves a running and driving demolition derby vehicle or car, I guess. I don't know. This thing's flipping awesome. It don't drift too well. It don't got that uh, rear end weight with all the weight reduction it has. Oh, heck yeah, this thing's awesome. No lights in it, of course, because, well, it's a demolition derby vehicle, but this thing is flipping awesome. Matches my hoodie, too, almost. It's more of a red. It's got this gritting, uh, I guess, so no parts can come flying through and hit you. But dang, a little more tuning, and this thing will be ready to go.
boys, this is another day back out here on Grandpa's farm. Now, harvest is over, and uh, we got a lot of cleanup to do. Not to mention, we have a crap ton of hay to bales, so uh, it's going to be a busy day. And I think I might have also found another thing on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, we might go look at that later today. For now, we got more than enough work to take care of with getting all this put away. Now, I'm hoping next year that I get about half these buildings, these old ones, tore down and hopefully build a bigger shop because I'd like to actually have all of my equipment indoors instead of this. This coverall shed, it's, it's not ideal. Eventually, I'd like to uh, get rid of a lot of this and just build something bigger. Get some more bins on site, because right now we don't have a whole lot. A little John Deere TV can uh, you know, haul this pretty good. And this header is dirty. Whew, needs a good wash. All right, this thing is going in the big coverall building, because it ain't going to fit in that one. I also have to go tear up some land with the big bud over there, so uh, we got to fire that up. The battery might be dead on it. I sure hope it's not. Oh, I still got to put that auger away, too. Well, it's a never-ending cycle around here of stuff I got to do. So I just ran the grain cart over to the neighbor's place here. We store a bit of equipment, because they don't really use this shop. But I have to get this hay rake and the hay bind out of the way, because the chopper has sold. Considering we don't really use it, I figured it was time to sell it. So i going to get this thing out of here. The truck should be here later today to pick it up. This should free up some room in the shop, too. Okay, all the equipment has been moved around a little bit. Freed up some more space in there. The chopper's ready to go to be picked up. And I'm going to head back to the farm to move some more equipment around. I've also got to bail this today, along with a bunch of other stuff towards the back of the property. The crops did good this year, but the hay is where the real money's at. Well, we had to boost it, but the old Diamond C is running again. Got to wash the semi-trailer off here, and we're going to get it moved around back. All we've been doing is hauling it through those muddy fields, and this trailer is definitely showing it. Got the old case here on the auger. Uh, I believe this was the neighbor's auger, but I think we're working out a deal to purchase it from him since I need it to fill these big bins. So it's just getting parked back here for now. There we go. Planter's backed in the shed. I had to move the rake. I think that's the last that we need to move in there. For a little while. So we've got some seed out here that uh, needs to be moved into the heated shop before it gets a little too cold out here and then it ruins our seed. I'll get that done a little bit later. For now, I'm actually going to hop in the GMC here and we got to go grab our bale trailer because we're going to need that later today. All right, this should work good, I hope. We'll just get it pulled back here for when we need it. All right, baler time. I believe this thing is all fueled up and ready to go, so we'll fire it up. Let's go do some baling. We don't got a whole lot to do, so this should be pretty straightforward here. We are making the big bales here, so less to pick up later on. Okay, field number one done. Didn't get a whole lot of bales off that, but again, we're making the big ones, so makes less of them to haul. Now, this field right here, we should get a couple off of. Well, another quick field just about done here. A couple more bales off this one, but we're going to move over to the stuff across the road there, and I believe the last hay field there has the uh, straw field right across it, so we're going to get that bailed up while we have this all out here. I mean, may as well. I already got everything running and uh, working good, so no sense in doing it later. I've already put that straw off long enough. So here's the straw field, and then here is the hay field. This one shouldn't take very long either. Well, this field is now finished up here. Got a couple more bales off that, but... Uh the straw is going to take a little while, I think. There is a lot here. However, we can move a lot faster on this field. It's nice and smooth. Well, that's side number one done. Now we got the big side. But we are definitely getting a good amount of bales off this. There's a lot here. And there we go. Last bale of the year is finished. Perfect. Well, let's get this thing back to the farm. I got to get it washed off. It is absolutely filthy. And then I think we're going to go try to pick some of these up. Yeah, this thing is going to take a while to wash. Oh, it is bad. So I ended up getting the uh, baler washed off there. And we're just taking the new Holland here. And we're going to go swap out the bucket for the bale forks. Okay, so we're out here in the field. I'm just going to get some of these bales stacked up. so They're easier to load up on the trailer here. I may need some rear weights on this thing. I mean, it can kind of handle these bales, but they are pretty dang heavy after all. And there's the last two. We're just getting them put towards the end of the field there. So it's easier to get to them. Perfect. On to the next one. So since this next field here only has three bales on it, I'm just uh, going to move them over to the next field that has a couple more. That way we're not making unnecessary stops. All right. There's the last two from that other field back there across the road. And I think there's four more out here. Perfect. That should be all of them. I do that for the straw bales right now too, but the semi is here to pick up the chopper. So... We'll get that loaded up. And then I think I might go take a look at a uh, possible Facebook Marketplace purchase. There we go. We are loaded. Get him hooked back up and uh, Chopper will be out of here. I'm going to let him uh, strap that thing down and we're going to go do some other things at the farm. I got to get that big bud running because we still have to do some tillage this week. Well, it took a quick boost from the Cummins, but it is going. Heck yeah. I'd wash this disc off, but... Uh, it's going right back out in the field, so no need to. I'm just going to go do a quick test run, make sure the disc is good. Drop her down, and off we go. Oh, yeah. 
cruising. I gotta say, this is probably one of the best tractors we've ever bought. In terms of power, this thing is basically unstoppable. It's also got one of the coolest cabs I've ever seen. Well, I just pulled off a quick headland here. I think we're just gonna park this for now until uh, I have a bit more time to actually get out into the field and finish this off. Just had to make sure everything was still running good with this beast. Well, I've got the comments here and I'm just fixing to run into town and go check out our possible new Facebook Marketplace purchase. I just gotta grab my tilt deck trailer, even though I probably won't need it. I'll grab it anyway. I don't really feel like lifting whatever we're gonna get up into the bed of the truck. This thing's tall. Well, boys, look what I bought. A Honda Big Red. It's a three-wheeler. I bought a freaking three-wheeler. I've wanted one of these forever. The perfect one finally came up for sale and I completely missed my turn. Anyways, I've been looking for one of these forever. Found the perfect one, so I had to scoop it up. I couldn't not. I mean, who doesn't want a Honda Big Red? It even came with this little trailer, which is kind of cool. It's a little uh, John Deere one. I didn't even know you could get these ones. So it should go great with my collection of things off Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, this will fit right in here. A while back, I also bought this other three-wheeler. It's actually a five-wheeler, but this is a, a real three-wheeler, I guess. Are they dangerous? Probably. Do I care? No, not one bit. This thing's gonna be a blast. I'm gonna take it out for a ride. Probably not supposed to. Definitely not road legal, but who cares? I'm just gonna ride over to Frank's. He's gotta see this thing. He's got a couple three-wheelers himself. So I'm at Frank's right now. I was just showing him my three-wheeler. And look who I see out of the corner of my eye. He's waiting for me. Just waiting for me to leave. So I got two options. I can either book it down the road and he'll know where I live. Or I can go out the back of Frank's property. Either way, I'm running. But ain't no way I'm getting this thing impounded. I'm just gonna pull out to the road and see if he flips on his lights. Still not on the road yet. Let me just inch a little closer. A little closer. A little closer. We're on the line. Oh shoot, his lights are on. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Uh, uh, okay, I go out this way, I go out this way. Oh, son of a gun, he's coming for me, he's coming for me. I'm running, I'm running. Uh, shoot, where do I go? I can go back around this way towards my property. It's just gonna take me a minute. Ah, crap, this is the last thing I wanted. I don't know if he can fit through here, so he may not chase me. Oh, crap, there's a pond. Uh, we'll go around this. Okay, he's not behind me. We might be okay. All right, if I cut back this way, I should be able to cross the road back by Grandpa's old moonshine barn. Okay, I made it back this way. We just passed the barn. He's nowhere to be seen. Nope, I don't see him anywhere. Okay, we're going back to the house. Back to the house. And this thing is going right in the shed, right where you can't see it. Yep, just gonna close that. He didn't look like an officer I recognize, so we should be okay. Well, that was eventful. Anyways, I still have lots of bales to pick up, lots of tillage to do. Cops to worry about if I, if I ever ride my three-wheeler on the road again. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on Grandpa's farm. Now, uh, it is fall, officially. Winter is a coming, and uh, we pretty much finished everything, most of the baling, all that good stuff. We just have a lot of bales to pick up now. We got some disking to do and a bunch of equipment to put away. So it's fixing to be a busy day. Anyways, first things first here, I'm actually going to hop on my three-wheeler, and we're going to run out to the field and get some of that disking done. There's not a whole lot to do, so it shouldn't take too long. Now, at the field just down there, I have to disk that one as well, but there's a bunch of straw bales in that so i'll have to get those all out of there but we're gonna try get this one finished first well i'm making good progress here the big bug seems to be able to handle this disc pretty well i think this is actually the first time we're using it other than i did the little bit of the headlands there but that's about it i like this thing kind of unique too not everybody just has a big bud on their farm so i got one i'm happy well that is it for this field back to the farm Man, this thing needs a wash. All right, so as you can see here, my shop is packed full of just a lot of random crap. So a couple things are gonna have to go. This is also grandpa's old farm truck. I've been meaning to restore it for a long time now. Uh, it's running at least, so uh, just needs a lot of work to actually get the body back in order. But we're gonna take the old uh, moonshine rig of grandpa's here and uh, put it in my little garage since it doesn't really need to be out and it's gonna be real cold sooner. I won't be able to drive it anyway. We're just gonna take the uh, old demolition derby vehicle here and uh, get it put in the shed. We'll throw a tarp over it so it's good later on, but for now, It'll be okay here. All right, got the truck pushed back here. I think we should have enough room for the baler now. All right, I got a few more things cleaned up here. The farm is looking a lot better now. But you know what I've noticed? You know, something's missing on the farm. And uh, I couldn't quite put my finger on it until I found it on Facebook Marketplace this morning. So uh, we're, we're gonna go pick it up. Now, what we're gonna go get should help out with moving bales around. I know we already have like two loader tractors, but like this, this is kind of just, this is one special. And it's not exactly a tractor. There's all my straw bales I gotta move. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can find where this place is at. And on this week's edition of What Random Crap Has Austin Found on Facebook Marketplace, 
Oh, there's deer. Uh, yeah, it, it's a truck with a loader. No, no, literally, it is a truck with a loader. So the second I seen this thing, I knew I had to have it. Now, it does, in fact, run and drive and operate completely fine. Now, I'm not too sure on the lifting capacities of this thing, um, considering that it is a truck. I guess we could put weight in the bed, too, but the guy used it for moving around bales and such, so we're going to try to do the same. Now, it does have a normal loader attachment here, so we're going to try something out real quick. It's going to drop that there. It did come with a bale spear, which is nice. And uh, we're going to try grab my grapple bucket. Now, this thing might be a little too heavy. Oh, yeah, definitely on the heavier side. But holy smokes, it picks it up. Oh, you can see just the front suspension. Now, all the suspension on this has been considerably beefed up, which is nice. But yeah, you lift this thing up, you can't see crap. But I think we're going to stick with the bale spear for now. It might just be the easier option. At any rate, I knew I had to have this. So we're going to try and move some bales with it. Now, I've got the bale trailer over there, and I believe a couple bales stacked up here. Yep, there we go. And we're going to try pick some of them up and get them on the trailer. Okay, never mind. Maybe the grapple might be a better idea for this trailer. Okay, so I have no idea how this is going to handle. We're going to give it our best shot. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Yep, as I suspected, way too flipping heavy. Bale spear it is. Well, it's picking them up. And yes, I'm aware this is not the way you're supposed to use bale spear. But I'm using it this way. Oh, and it has beacons too. So it's even better. All right. Oh, boy. I may need some weight in the back. There's a small chance. Hey, okay, easy. Oh, my trailer's tipping over. Okay, we got one on the front, one on the back. This is working. You know what? Maybe this, this is the new thing in bale moving technology. A truck with a loader on it. I mean, I highly doubt it, but you never know. All right, this is where we're at. Let's go move some more bales. I'm actually pretty excited. This thing is flipping awesome. I should have bought one a long time ago, but I guess these don't really come up for sale every day, so... Yeah, they kind of have to build one or get lucky someone's selling one. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this truck actually has any, like practical practical uses other than kind of just being a showpiece the fact that it does work but i mean i'm not complaining this thing moves bales phenomenally other than when this happens nope not ideal okay so i think it's official this thing does need a little bit of counterweight in the back that should be a pretty easy fix to be honest okay on to the next field so believe it or not this was my idea for some counterweight in the truck I think it might actually work. Two bales in the back. If there's two on the front, should balance it out perfectly. That's the hope, at least. All right. Good. Good. Okay, I think this is better. You know, sometimes I'm afraid my own genius might escape me. Okay, it looks like we're only going to be able to fit one more on there. One more set. But I'm probably just going to take the rest of them to the horses. All right, let's roll. We're all loaded down here. This thing is awfully heavy. It may be time for some airbags in the back of this. It is, uh scrape it on the rear fenders there that's not ideal but this trailer is a crap ton of money so i'll take it well it's more full of a crap ton of money let's hope there's not a cop waiting for me down here last time i went to this uh place where i sell these hay bales i got pulled over and got a bunch of tickets it was not ideal all right we're dropping them back here perfect money in the bank let's get back to the farm all right so we got the uh Field with a bunch of straw bales out here to do now i didn't have these ones pre-stacked so it's gonna take us a little bit longer but oh well It'll be fine. All right. Well, that's the last of it. Got two straw bales in the bed there. Got the two on the front and then got the rest of them up here. I'd say the uh, loader truck did pretty well for its, uh, you know, maiden voyage here. If I had had some weight in the back sooner, it would have done a lot better. But as soon as we got that weight in, it was lifting bales. No problem. We're just going to drop these two bales in the horse barn here real quick and then unload the ones out of the bed straw bales at least get them loaded back onto the trailer because i guess we won't need the counterweight no more in hindsight using the skid steer to move these might have been easier but it was not as fun all right another project done we're pretty much all finished up for most of the work that we needed to do this fall other than a bit more disking i guess i probably should till the uh riding arena the owners of those horses tend to come ride here quite a bit, so I should probably get to that eventually. So since we have a little extra room in the other shop, my neighbor's shop that we rent out every winter, since we got rid of the forge harvester, I'm going to try get this truck and trailer in there. If I can't get the truck and trailer, I'll just get the truck in. It's better than it sitting outside in the elements, I guess. Although I'm not too sure it's going to fit. Oh yeah, nope. Okay, so just the truck. Drop the trailer, and in goes the truck. I'm gonna say that's probably about the max we're gonna fit in here. Yeah, I can't really get much else in. 
Okay, that'll work. Now I got the fun task of trying to move these augers into this small shed. Well, it's not exactly small, but for an auger, it's not exactly the greatest. We'll see what we can do. Okay, that'll work. It's not completely in there, but most of it is. At least the engine and stuff is covered. This one doesn't even fit all the way in. Huh, maybe I need a longer shed. Okay, so this auger is gonna stay out here for when we need to empty this bin. I guess uh, for the semi, I'm just gonna have to pull it out of that shed and uh, hook it up to the trailer and we'll be good to go for hauling grain this winter. And I think pretty much everything that needed to be done is done as far as putting away equipment. I just have a little more disking to do. So I'm gonna go do that. But hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.